we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As is light indeed. So where were we? Um, we were gonna. What, what did I just pick up? We were gonna manufacture blood fuel. Um, from this place. And we need to send it back to the mall so that we can get, uh, so that we can get more lights, basically. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Discord said we're live. Commercials are in the way. Uh, well, there's not much more I can do about that. I've completely minimized commercials on my channel. Uh, what do we got? Some belt here. I'm gonna have to follow basically the same path as we did with the iron ingots, I think. I can see you now, and I heard you. Fantastic. Alright, so we're gonna run a belt down this way. We're gonna need some light over here. Um, maybe I should put... Oh, I don't have any more. Um, can I make some more while I'm here, or do I need to go back, really? Let's see. We need blood ore and glass. Um, I don't think we've got... I wish we could see more stuff on the map. I don't remember seeing quartz around here anywhere. Oh, is this? No, I think that's more iron. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go back. Also, when did our power get this bad? Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. Just start a Crestorio 2 playthrough. Fantastic. There are eyes in the dark. Indeed there are. Well, there's some blood ore. Do we have any more lamps in here? don't think so. There's glass. Okay. Give me the glass. And... And then... Uh, that's it. We can make two more lamps. Only two, though. Alright. Let's put a couple of these over yonder. So that our belts will work. I'm hoping we don't need any more over here, actually. Now I need more belt... Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we're going to have to go on a trip. A big one. Yeah, I've got two more grav pipe here. I could make zero grav pipe, because I don't think there's grav ore nearby. Not that I recall. All right. I might leave a bunch of stuff here, since we're perpetually overburdened anyway. How about we put it in the backpack? Wait, that's Gravrock! Okay, okay, I think we can... I think we can make gravity pipes here. Fantastic. So, three grav ore, and this is just one to one. And we have 99, so we can make 33 belt. Fantastic. We can only queue up seven at a time, though. Oh, no. That's going to take a little while. And we got the zappy zaps. Oh. 
Wait, what? Inventory full. Bloody hell. Isn't it always the case? Let's drop electric pedals. I think it'll honestly just be more expedient if I go back uh, for more grav belt. Grav pipe, whatever it's called. But maybe I should bring a bunch of these? Um, what if I take them from here? Yoink, yoink, yoink. And maybe we can get a temporary burst in... How, mon how many lights we can support while we work on this stuff. Fantastic. Back we go through the dark. Let's pay attention to whatever resources we see. Plenty of electric flowers. Um, I'm not expecting to see grav rock or quartz over here. I think it would be not really worth the trouble. We can just walk back and come back with a couple of stacks of belts anyway. Oh. Um, that's a lot of quartz. No, I think it's still easier if we just go get some automated stuff. Away we go. Big spider say hello. Not today. I think we're going to need another... Well, no, I remember definitely we're going to need another red battery here. What? What? Was I supposed to left click? I think I was supposed to left click. One job? Oh no. Where are the batteries? I'll just take one of these. And go pick up the rest. It is indeed left click. Um, but maybe I should grab belts before I go? And then find that my inventory is full while I'm trying to sort this out? Oh well, what are you gonna do? Those are factories. I'm pretty sure I've got more than enough of those. Um, where's my little belt automator? I think there's one over to the left. Hmm. Oh, where, oh, where could my belt factory be? I'm sure I had a belt factory still somewhere. Surely. It's too many steps with only seven, only being able to queue up seven, uh, crafts. I mean, I could at least take Grav Ore, I think it is. Oh, is this it? This is it. Fantastic. Let's take a hundred. I said, I said a hundred. Or two hundred, I guess. Oh, it stacks to ninety-nine. I think that'll be all we need. Okay, back into the dock. And find our corpse. Is this it? Fantastic. Take all. 
we can actually carry it as well. I'm not going to harvest that right now. I'm just going to end up with an overly full inventory. Okay. Love that music. Do, 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 do. Still got eleven and a half minutes left on that buff. Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, here we go. Oh, I was going to put those 47 blood fuel in temporarily so our lights could stop flickering. Oh well, we'll just have to work with this as is. More... Oh, we need a bouncy here. Fantastic. And that's actually it. Um, That's actually everything I need to do on this end. I don't think I can... Oh. Surprisingly enough, I can do a little work from way over here, but it's not really going to help us. Alright, here we go all the way back again. I don't really see the point of the fast travel system unless you're going to set up manufacturing for everything you could possibly want at every location. And then that discounts the fact that things like picker pals are precious and finite. Don't really see it. I mean, sure, the buildings don't cost more power, it's only the bulbs. But you've got to consider all the resource availability in different places as well. Back we go. Oh, there's another deer. Alright, where was I going? Oh yeah, back this way. To connect it. I should work backward from here, because we're going to need to... Oh, don't tell me. Right. I think this is fine, actually. Yeah, we can toss these in. Uh, with a springboard. I think we, I think we kind of have to. All right, and then belts back this way. I guess we can pretty much follow this belt. Might make it a bit easier. Is that rock in the way? A little bit. Don't know why I have blood rock in my inventory. But it makes things a little easier right now. Damn it, I was kind of hoping this would still be powered. Yet another lamp. Over here. needs to find its way over this way. Alright. And go. And where are we? 
Um, just a bit further up this way should be our stuff. Where I lazily tossed iron in a chest earlier. But since this is for fueling the lights, we'll definitely need something a bit more fully automated. It's actually pretty close already. One more stack should do it. In fact, I'm very confident one more stack will do it. Where's our belts? Over here? Why are we, um... Oh, I remember. We needed, like, slightly more than 30 per minute. We need, like, 32 per minute. It says it's getting 18 per minute. That's not enough. Oh, well. We'll get a big boost to... our lamp count pretty soon. Alright, so this goes here, and then this goes here. What? Rude. And that's it, we just need some lamps now. Where's our lamp factory? Did I even make a lamp factory? It's pretty basic to handcraft. Glass and blood ore. I should probably find somewhere where we just happen to have these things together, though. Uh, we don't really happen to have them together anywhere. That's why I haven't done it. Alright, blood ore. Do I not have a storage for blood ore? That's blood rock. Here it is. Blood ore. Have some more blood rock. Give me a stack of these. And I have a bunch of glass already. Inventory full. Bloody hell. Um, what should I drop? It's actually a good question. I guess the grav rock. Alright. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's Blood Rock and some glass just lying around here. I should automate it here. Let's, top, let's uh, pop down a factory. We're gonna make... what was that? No, that's fine. We're going to make lamps. Can we make lamps with a regular factory? Or do we need, like, an electronics... No, we can make lamps. Um... So we just need blood ore from over here. Which is... One more step. How far back can I put this? That looks right. And that looks right. And... Oh, that's literally just a rock. That's literally just a rock. Um... Never mind. I don't actually seem to have a source here. Lights. Oh, here we go. There's a patch. Don't hurt me. Ouchie. That's actually pretty mild. Okay, so our blood ore patch is way up here. 
And I'm getting sidetracked, I realize. In fact, what am I doing? I'll have to bring up more lights up this way, so let's finish this first. Alright. Lights go... here, I guess. And up here. And up here. And up here, and up here, and that should basically be it. Now the question is, is that little burst of blood fuel going to be enough to power this lamp? I suspect the answer is yes. And then we'll get, uh, we'll probably have a bit of a sputter. Because we'll have power enough to send more, and then we won't, and then we'll have power enough to send more for longer, and then we won't. But I'm pretty sure this goes where it's supposed to. Blood fuel. That'll probably help. Fantastic. Alright, we're already... I mean, it's, it's going to be uncapped. So I think it's going to temporarily go to, like, plus 128, actually. I didn't check or remember um, what our rate is for blood fuel. I think I'll just let it come in unlimited. Why not? It should be consistent, because there's, like, nothing else going on up here except for making iron and the other steps uh, to make blood fuel. Looks like we're bottlenecked on um, this one... Uh-oh, 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 no, 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 no. I thought I could get back faster than I could find the red battery. Unfortunate. So why did we need more lights to get transistors? I think iron is uh, an essential step, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're bottlenecked. Well, maybe not when the backlog catches up, actually. I was going to say I'm pretty sure we're bottlenecked on this springboard, but I'm seeing gaps back here already, so probably not. Um, where's my backpack here? Sort. Red battery. Remove the evidence of embarrassing death. And make this a little bit... Quicker. Cool. We're very much not bottlenecking on that anymore anyway. Alright, while we're here... Why is there another lamp here? Um, probably don't need that one. Um, but yeah, we should probably be bringing iron in as well. And I'm out of... I, I, I'd really like a springboard that I can ride across this gap. That would be very convenient. Because I kind of need to go back there to check on some stuff. I'm pretty sure we could significantly increase our blood fuel throughput. Okay. 
Okay. Give me that spring bullet. Wait. No, I was going to use that. What was this for? Oh yeah. No, let's do this thing that I said we would do once we got that sorted out. Um, we need some lamps up here. Some more lamps would be good. Probably like here. Where's the nearest lamp though? There's one. Okay. Lamp number one. Lamp number two. Lamp number three. Lamp number four. Lamp number five. Fantastic. Alright. I need at least a couple of stacks of belts to do what I want here. Now tell me again how we make transistors. We need scrap metal and corrosive petal. Huh. Did we discover a way to make scrap metal? Like, indefinitely? Not to my knowledge. We can't be running around picking up scrap for something that's going to be a production chain, right? Right. Morbid Dragon, Blaz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Could build an inventory springboard and then teleport? Oh god. That actually sounds horrible. Um, give me some more grav pipe. Okay. Fantastic. So what sort of rate are we getting at the moment? Um, almost 64 per minute. Well above 48. So the power should be reliable from that one at least. Nice. Oh, there's another fuel type left to go. Good gravy. Could build a... would solve the scrap issue too. <laughs> but I need actual automation for scrap, right? I mean, it's not technically a need, but neither is not handcrafting everything to finish Factorio. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold on a minute there. Um, we need more, uh, one more production step. So this is supposed to be blood ore, I think. And then I need freaking even more inventory space. Uh, as always. There it is. Now we can make some light bulbs. Give me a scrap chest. We've already got that in slot five. We can only support like a few hundred light bulbs ever, apparently. I should have done this ages ago, and I wouldn't have had to... What do they stack to, anyway? Whatever. It's done. Let's drop these. Uh, 
Yeah, I feel like we should have um, a way to make scrap consistently if we're expected to make 99 uh, 99 of these. I also don't remember where we're going to make corrosive petal from. I don't think I've actually seen any green petals anywhere. All of this help is old. We're not learning anything from this. We actually only need like 56 transistors. How much scrap? I've got five scrap metal. Mm. Are we really expected to just run around and pick it up? Well, that point is moot until we find green petals somewhere. Can I search for it? Oh, I can. Corrosive petal. Fantastic. Beep. It is way down this way somewhere, probably. How many more lights can we support right now? Um, so this should be 75. I have a feeling this is the one that's fluctuating, even though we carefully managed it to give 32 plus 1. From the... Yeah. Let's see. This is 31 per minute. And this one is stopped? What? Why does it look like it's... F oh. Why did I... So this one's 3 per minute. We're supposed to be doing 33 per minute. Well, how did that get broken? Or did I have problems supporting it or something? There's only one thing linked to this. I could reshape all of this, or we could add a splitter. Um, why are there more dispense chests here? Must have had a temporary load to get rid of. Uh, we've got plenty of splitters, so let's add one here. And that should actually give us the maximum bulbs consistently, I hope. Stop flickering. Purple is at 18 per minute, 17 per minute. Where is purple coming from? This one is set to 9 per minute, and this one is set to probably 9 per minute. But I don't think we're actually keeping up with the production probably the problem there. Uh, but we seem to be comfortably staying over 16 per minute. So that should stop fluctuating, right? And blood fuel seems to have settled on the 12 to 16 per minute mark. Actually, it's a flat line. It looks like 13 per minute, maybe. It says 12 per minute. Well, as long as it doesn't flicker. That should be it, right? So how many lights do we have? 139 out of 162. Uh, we can do like 43 more. That's not great. Uh, it's not bad, though. Cool, cool, cool. Can I not drop, drop this off here? Nope. Alright. Drop it on the floor like we do everything else. And leave a worse and worse mess behind. 
Yes, we forgot about biters? Oh no. When employee ceases to exist, can you loot the body? Uh, yeah, you can. I was just hoping for an actual automatable source of scrap. Oh, it doesn't work this way. Oh god, it's so bright. Oh no. Okay. Can't click and drag it like Factorio power poles. I'm relearning this. More red stuff in the way. Don't tell me I have to go all the way around like we did before. Still got a hundred seconds of red stuff immunity. Um, better get out of here before I die to... God damn it, I should have unplugged that thing. There is a fast travel point here. What's the red stuff? Allegedly it's water. Allegedly. The alleged water. Hmm. This is looking like a problem. Don't tell me I have to go all the way around and then this way. Oh no, didn't we explore this? I think I forgot about exploring this area. Too long since the last session. Um... Well, I guess we'll have to rediscover some shit. How much further does this go? I think this just goes all the way back to the, uh, the other outpost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, actually. Let's take a regen. Which one was regen? Oh, we have green batteries. Yeah, that was that whole place we had to run through. I think I have to go down this way, actually. I'm just going to confirm uh, that this way only leads to the old outpost. Well, not the old outpost, like the, the one that we most recently built at. There's the lights of it as well. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So to get there the first time, we had to go all the way through here in the dark. And this time, I think if we just bring lights down this way, we find a pretty short path. Actually, wasn't it really closely connected to Outpost 3? Let's try that. Colonel Wilfone. <laughs> Indeed. Green Zone was a teleport start? Teleport start. That's not good to us. We need to be able to carry stuff. I might have to go back and start the light path from somewhere else, but I want to explore this way anyway.
I'm pretty sure we're gonna bump into Station 3, even tracing this, uh, coast. If you have green battery, you can walk to that area. Hmm. What's in here? Uh, very little. And... Fantastic. And... Oh. Uh, I think this is the trail of lamps that I built going back up this way. Probably could have made it a bit easier. To follow that in the first place. Let's reconnect them. Yeah, this is Outpost 3. Friendly. Alright, here we go. Is that going to link both of them? It does. So now we just need to go reclaim all those other lamps. Where are, where are we going? Because we're going to need to expand in a different direction. Did I bring back green mushrooms so that we could start farming these? Or am I not able to make the seeds or something yet? The fact that I have... Uh, 30 of these probably suggests that I've already farmed them properly, actually. I was thinking of picking up the woozy plants, but inventory. Do do do. Alright, back we go. And we'll pick up some more lamps while we're at it. What a sprawling mess. Yeah, we've got... Uh, green shroom... Oh yeah, we did farm the green shrooms. Fantastic. Good to know. get made quite quickly. Alright. Um, lamps are over here. Only 17 so far? Well, that gets us pretty close to our limit anyway. Wait, so... So I completely forgot this is moot. Uh, we've got our green, uh, we've got our green stuff. So literally we just need a ton of scrap. Free scrap per transistor. And we needed like 46 or something? Fifty-six. Times three. Uh, 150, 168. That's a lot of scrap. How am I supposed to get that much scrap? I half remember, or maybe I was, maybe it was wishful thinking, finding a way to make scrap um, out of iron or something. Tree Chumper requires scrap. Do we really need to go around picking up like a hundred and seventy scrap? Give me a smelter. Oh, there it is. 
I'm pretty sure there wasn't a recipe in this uh, that would solve our problems. Oops. Oh. Never mind, it's literally just iron ore. Um, unfortunately I'm sending iron ingots back, not iron ore at the moment. I could just go and automate it uh, back here. And then pick it up when we've got 170 or whatever. It's probably the same amount of trouble uh, to make a belt for... I don't see any more fuel coming through. Oh no. What's going on? Oh no. It's because... Actually, I don't know why. I guess we got fluctuations even though it really looked like we weren't going to have fluctuations in the power supply. And now it's not reaching the outpost. Uh, because I extended lamps down this way. And therefore, death spiral. We're not getting any blood fuel. Alright. How about now? There's our outpost working again. Okay. So we need to send back not just iron ingots, but iron ore, weirdly enough. Or maybe it would have been better to send it as ore in the first place. Um... Yeah, I can't actually find the scrap recipe through here. I guess it's only stuff that I could handcraft. Do we really need the iron ore for anything else? Maybe we could just send back scrap instead? Yay, Atrio, what section are you in now? Uh, I'm trying to get scrap fully automated from our iron factory. Is this not... Hmm. I could connect this directly. But if I'm going to disconnect all of this, I don't actually have a path to get there myself. Also, these are not connecting. Hmm. What am I going to do about this? Should this be working? Do I need to disconnect more lamps? Probably. Yeah, that one's flickering on and off. I, I think we have to... I think we have to get rid of our lamp automation. That's not that big a deal. Actually, put that back. And just disconnect it here. So hopefully when it recovers, it'll actually start sending... There it is, blood fuel. Alright, let's leave it like that for now. We need to make a bunch of smelters. Don't know how many. Um, that costs scrap metal. We're going to be making scrap metal on the spot, so I guess we just walk over there. What's this? Research pack 4. How do we use these again? We need research upgrade chip. Does this thing make those? Nope. Pack 4 is just for subtracting 1500 seconds. Have we researched everything? No. We need research upgrade chip before we can do anything else. Alright, we should have a chest for this kind of crap. There we go. What does it take to make a research upgrade chip, anyway? Or do we have to find them? Foreign tech, foreign scrap plus factory... 
Um, I'm sure I've had research upgrade chips before. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mad Dame Salsa as well. Thought it was weird when you said you would play Factorio today yesterday. Yeah, I messed up. My brain thought it was... I, I don't know. I got Thursday and Friday mixed up somehow. Let's make the bold assertion that we're not going to have to carry nitrate for a while. Um... Yeah, I... I think we just get given research upgrade things from here, right? Probably? Alright. Wait, I've already got 43 transistors here, that's... Oh, that's counting what's in my inventory, I see. Alright, just toss... God damn it. Just toss that in here. No, I'm sure I'm going to find myself wanting transistors at some point. Oh god, inventory in this game is a nightmare. Let's just drop the blood ingots. Alright, back we go. I'm not against that. Neither would I be, but... Promise is a promise. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It's not just give the people what they want, it's give the people what they've reasonably come to expect. That does seem to be a key hell of this game, finding inventory space. Yeah. It must have been a, like over a hundred times that I've had to stop and say, okay, what am I going to put away in a chest or eventually just what am I going to drop on the ground? Space exploration gets kind of bad with that just because there's so many different things. I'm tempted to start only ever building things with purple belt just because you don't want to carry two types. Blue belt has basically become basic belt. In a way, I'm glad I'm stuck with space belt for basically the entire game in space because there's only one type. That's, that's it. Oh, we're here. There's a part of me that's totally curious if the one million number for fast travel is actually coded in the game. I really wanted to... Oh god. I wouldn't want to test that without tool assist, that's for sure. Okay, so... This takes iron. Iron becomes iron ore. Iron ore becomes... Iron ingot. And we can't break iron ingot back down to iron ore. Um, please tell me I brought enough to make more smelters. I need more scrap metal. We're going to be using smelters to make scrap metal. So we need... Here's the thing. I need some iron ore. Give me that. Yeah, give me all of the iron ore, please. No iron ore for these two smelters. And then scrap metal, iron ore. I thought it said 75 seconds for a second there. No, thank you. Is it one to one? I think it's one to one. This won't take too long. All right, so we need scrap metal to make smelters. Um, exponential growth begins. More smelters. What do we need? Scrap metal? Give me the scrap metal. And with 
only two we can start automation, right? Did I already grab all of these? Nope, there's still plenty of iron patches left. Um, I think rather than maybe messing with... Our th even though they're backed up, uh, maybe instead of messing with the throughput from any of these, let's just take from some different patches. And where should I go? Um, we kind of have to snake around if we want to avoid bouncies for the most part. So how about through here? Do we have enough smelters now? That'll do for now, I think. Alright, so smelter goes here. Or I could put it here, actually. I don't really want to encroach on the blood flowers. Oh good, this is going on and off all the time. The thing that we need for more power. Lovely. I guess as long as this belt is backed up, it doesn't really matter. We need more mini deer. That's our... I think that's our real bottleneck. Over here. Oh, it is by far our bottleneck. I don't really want to go hunting deer right now. But good to know. It shouldn't actually be that complicated. To uh, increase our throughput here. We've got a little bit of space to do it still. Anyway. Got 5,000 friendship points, indeed. Luckily, Next Unlock said you get mechanical deer. Mechanical deer. Alright, um, let's start. You know what, I think I want to put it in its like own discrete little package over here. Just so it's really clear what it's doing. Oh wow, that's only like 60%. Alright, so step one is the same as ever. Iron ore. That takes two seconds, and then I guess we'll do another one to two ratio. Because I'm pretty sure this said seven seconds. So 3.5 seconds per recipe between the two of them. Uh, and this is two. That seems fine to me. Let's put a bouncy pad right up. About here. And... That's basically it. I'm honestly tempted to just make chests here. Instead of another grav belt. All the way back to base, but I mean, we've got the lamps to support it, so we may as well make the most of them. Except I'm gonna have to go back for more grav belt, aren't I? I see where this is going. I've seen enough Atrio to know where this is going. We've got 17 left. I might actually be able to just finish it on this end. So we can at least... Uh, we can at least finish it when we get back there. Cool, cool, cool. 
Should we make a couple more? I think we should. Why not? We need three scrap per smelter, right? Four scrap. One, two, three. Already got two, that makes three, so we can double our scrap throughput here. And... Wouldn't I need a splitter? I hate that splitters are kind of precious. Um, or I could use this space here and just take straight from the belt. Or, hear me out. We could hop over this tile here and use a regular belt here. And if we just run it past the machine, it'll accept it when it can. I'm happy with that, except for the fact that I'm out of belt again. Uh, did I leave a bunch of grav stuff lying around here? I think, I hope I did, because I was looking at handcrafting a whole lot of belt, and I said, nah, I'll go back. I think I dropped it back at base. Oh, no. What's this? I thought there was something behind the backpack. Yeah. Oh, 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 I have, I have a little bit of belt here. Okay. Is that going to help? I need so little to make this work. But I need one, t one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. Seven or eight grav belt, uh, grav pipe. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have to go all the way back. No, no. This part's probably oversupplying it. I think I'll steal from here. And that's gonna get rid of two more of those. Uh... Is there nowhere else? I took all the belt that I had here already. I think I'm gonna have to. I guess I could put a bouncer here. Alright, I didn't set the recipes yet. Oh, I didn't set this recipe. That becomes ore, and these two become scrap. Fantastic. And then this guy can probably just have a bouncer. Cool. Hopefully that's enough to keep up with this. Alright, we've got our scrap line going all the way back. We need to come back here with more deer if we want to increase our power throughput. That is the bottleneck right now. Although, from what I saw with the pedals... No, I think the pedals are bottlenecked on the power going out over here. Yeah, definitely. So that problem will solve itself up to a point. I guess they are craftable? Me mechanical deer? I don't know. Alright, back to the bridge. We've got 82 seconds left before I need another precious, precious buff potion. Just kidding. It's hard to turn on and off uh, the appropriate level of scarcity mindset for various resources as they change. Um, 
throughout a video game. You know, you go from something being precious to being literally, like, infinite. Or worse, somewhere in between. Actually thought we would need more time. It's not that long of a trip. It's just a bit of a pain. Oh, there's a deer. Uh, I think I have one stun bomb on me. Come here. There we go. Now I need another bomb, which I don't have properly automated. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's a deer right there. How do I make bombs? Woozy tears. I haven't been able to automate those. That's why. But they're so very worth it. Okay, one thing at a time. Um, we're going to get more grav belt. We're going to bring scrap all the way back here. And we're going to fully automate uh, green transistors. Is it over there? Yeah, those are my belts. Let's -a go. You know what? Give me as much as I can freaking carry this time. You can always just drop it. Put it back, even. Alright, we're actually getting our power throughput. Here comes the scrap belt. Also, I never actually fixed up the iron ingot belt, um, but I haven't actually needed it yet. I needed a big delivery of iron just as a one-off so far to get the, uh, to get the next tier of unlocks and stuff. Don't tell me we're going to run out of space here. I don't want to need another light for this. No, I think we're good. I need another light for these, though. Where are my lamps? There we go. And... Electronics factory... Um... I think I have to personally deliver to that anyway. I think I've, like, tried automatically inserting it. So I should really just have this go to a scrap chest. Do I want to drag... I think I'm going to have to. What is this? Green Shroom. Can I break Green Shroom down into petals? I'm pretty sure we need petals, specifically. Corrosive Petal. How do we make... Corrosive... Petal... That's actually kind of a mystery. Wait, no. No, the green shrooms are different from the corrosive petals. Right? I'm pretty sure I have to go back and get pickers to bring us corrosive petals. Oh, uh, no. All right. In that case, our current mission is... ...to get more mini-deers. 
maybe four. We'll double our... Uh, we'll probably double our blood fuel throughput. For that I need woozy tears. Or woodsy tears, whatever they're called. this time. I can't get pickers to pick these, can I? I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh, right. Ouchie. Woozy plant. There's quite a few right here. At least that part's easy. I also hear a toad. I don't think we need any more toads right now. Your services are not required. Please... Uh-oh. Um... It's probably fine. Probably. Was it purple that gives us regen? Uh-oh, we can only have one buff at a time. Whoopsie daisy. It is in fact purple that gives us regen. Um, so we got 16 tiers. I think that's probably all we need. Uh, to make what? A bunch of stun bombs? I need blood ingots and glow bulbs. And I can make exactly 16 of these. How many glow bulbs do I need? Only one per? Oh, that's still kind of slow. I think I'll pick it off the belt instead. Uh, those are blood ingots. Alright, what are we dropping? Scrap metal, since it's not precious now. Um, inventory full. Um, basic gate, get out of here. Alright, we need 13 more glow plants, or glow bulbs. I could just take them from this container, actually, and then put them back in. If I'm fast enough. But I can't queue up all of these at once. Alright, what do we got left here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Um... Plus seven? Has it already counted those or no? I think it hasn't because our maximum was supposed to be 13, right? I can make six more, apparently. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And everything is in balance. Fantastic. Alright. Um, actually, let me make that like slot 3 or something reachable. Where'd that deer go? I do not see him. Oh, there he is. Come back. I just want to enslave you. I mean, feed you delicious petals. All the delicious petals you could possibly want. And more.
So we want like two more deers so that we can double our throughput probably uh, with the next trip. Can I search for a deer with the searchy search? I don't think so. Is that a deer? No, nope. my eyes are showing me what I want to see now. Game saved, fantastic. Uh, how do I go back? Oh, here we go. No, we definitely can't scan for deer. Maybe if we scanned for natural sap, we'd find deers? I don't know if they actually do anything. Before we put them to work. Oh, here's one. Oh, we're up to three. I just need one more. And we can double our blood fuel. Where dear? Also, is that scrap line working? No, there's like one piece of belt missing. There we go. I'm pretty sure the deer will just keep spawning in those same places. So I'll just do a circuit around the areas where we've seen them. Including, but not limited to, the very start area. I really don't want to go all the way to the outpost before I can double... Oh, here we go. Gotcha. Fantastic. Off we go. Animal enslavement. Good times. It's very quiet right now. kinds of quartz. Where are we going? This time I brought plenty of belt. Alright. Um, there's a couple of ways I could do this. I could squeeze you in here. Two, three. Or we could go like... One, two... What the heck is this? No. Two, three... You're in the way. How dare you. What about here? And then... That goes there. Is this one not trying to eat from, like, this tile? Oh, we have to set a recipe. I forgot. Blood paste. Fantastic. Alright, so if we put a bouncer here, I think that one can... Yes, perfect. Oh, 
cool, cool, cool. Blood paste and a blood paste. Now, are we bottlenecked on these machines? Uh-oh. We might be bottlenecked on iron ingots now. These are all the same recipe, right? So how many ingots do we need to support this? Uh, three seconds for two. That's 1.5 per second. Three, six per second. That sounds like a lot for this game, actually. Wait, did I calculate that one? Uh, if it takes three seconds to consume two... Then it takes... Uh, yeah, no, 1.5 seconds to consume one, right? So we need six per second. What do we got here? 12 seconds? This is one every six. We need 36 times that. If we're going to support these four factories. Uh... I hope I'm miscalculating there. 12 seconds. This does one every two seconds, and we need three. So yeah, this is one to two. In six seconds, this makes three. In 12 seconds, this consumes three. This is perfect ratio. Uh, every 12 seconds, every 6 seconds, every 3 seconds. Uh, yeah, I think we'd need an obscene number of these machines. To support this many. How fast are the deer? 20 seconds each. So... One, this is one to one. So one of these every 20 seconds, we've got six, seven, eight, which is kind of hard to basic math. Um, eight every 20 seconds. Whenever we hit, we can use division whenever we see per. So eight over 20 should be 0.4 per second, uh, which is I'm pretty sure it's well behind. What is this dotted line? Oh, it's the stun bomb that I didn't realize I dropped here. Is there another one? Yeah, there is. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Um. Well, this is pretty more than one per second, which is over 60 per minute. Which sounds good, actually. Do I really need to make that many furnaces, smelters? I don't wanna. 36 over 2... We need 18 sets of 3 like this. We need to multiply what we've got already by 5 to support that at full speed. Uh, well, let's just try and make do without it. Is smelter expensive? No, it's just the amount of space we need. We need even more lamps. I don't think we could even fit five times or another four times all of that over here. Could we? Maybe? 
One, two, no. I'll try and get by without bothering. Uh, so we need to go find... Well, maybe I should go and see exactly how our power is doing. Or I could just cram in whatever we can already fit. With the lamps that we've already got, or like, just add a few more. I don't love having to build big in a game where we can't have construction bots or something. Satisfactory has a serious problem with that. Alright, what do we need to make smelter, scrap metal, and factory? We've got basically infinite of those things. You know what, I'm pretty sure it's worth the effort. We're basically just paying more lamps to get way more lamps, right? Why can't I make this? What? Oh, inventory full, it's just not telling me yet. Okay. We need to split the iron as well, though. That's kind of a pain. Might even have to redo this. Or if I merge it into a common belt... No, that kind of sucks. Does this tell us how fast we get... I don't think it does. How, how fast we get stuff from each individual ore harvester. I have no idea. Alright. Can't really put this here. Let's start with this, I suppose. Work backward from that. Uh, I did that backward. Cool, cool. So this goes here. This goes here, and this goes here. And then these two are for ingots. How am I going to get the iron where it needs to go? Uh, in the end, there's probably not even that much iron here. Actually, this is supposed to be the only place in the game with iron, right? So if there's not enough iron ingots to support the maximum uh, blood fuel to get more lamps. That would be a pretty cruel joke. Alright. And then we need to do the same thing back here. Probably one tile back so it doesn't get... Well, I don't think this thing will consume the wrong resource. So that's gonna go there. Then, like this. This one needs to be ore. And we can probably feed these by just... How slow are they, actually? Two seconds each, was it? Considering the short distance, we could probably just have a train of bounces. To put the iron in. 
there's no reason it has to start from back there. We could... Bouncy... Across here. Alright, well, let's get that working first before we build more. Um... Maybe... Is that going to take more? No, we need actual splitters. I think I have some, though. Right, we've got 11 splitters. That'll hopefully be enough. Hopefully. If we can even fit them here. Ugh. I don't really like the way these things work. Let's just grab some more of these. Oh, we need more lamps. Sure. Wait, where? Where's the nearest lamp? How are these all powered? I don't understand. Does this have a special light source somewhere? Well, that means we need even more lamps. Okay. So we're going to take from these four. And find our way up here. Not quite where I had in mind, but that's okay. Alright, so what? We've not quite doubled our iron ore, our iron ingots rather. Let's just double it and leave it at that. Actually, I need three more for that. Hopefully that'll be enough. So, once more... Output goes here. Need to move this lamp. It's gonna mess everything up, no doubt. Maybe not that bad. These two are ingot. Um, and we need one more. Why is this here? We need one more bouncy. Or two more bouncies, actually. Over this way. And then bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. That should get some ingots coming from all of this. Let's make sure it reaches from all the way back here. Ingot incoming. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Fantastic. Wait, are these two set to ingot? Uh, I think so. Is... Oh, we're not getting enough iron. Okay. I 
Actually, that's not okay. That's horrible. Uh, how about this? Is this gonna be enough? Oh, and we can easily add one here. And that's literally all of our iron. Although we're not utilizing all of it, the, some of the belts are backed up. To do a proper build, I'd have to really tear the whole thing down and put it back. We need a lot of splitters. Oh, I don't know how many exactly. Or we could feed it all into one belt. It might be like on the on the belt itself, actually. But the idea was feed it all into one belt and then run it all past all of these uh, smelters. But I'm hoping this will be more than sufficient to get through the game. All right, we've got all the scrap we'll ever need. And then some. Can I get rid of this? Nope. Or can I? Why is that not connecting? Save one lamp. Alright, so now it's time to go hunt those green petals, I think. Middle smelter missing one belt? This one? Indeed. Does this one get any love? Well, obviously it did at some point, but I don't know if if this will be enough here. I need splitters, but I can't like fit them in. run this belt all the way back down here. Maybe that's not such a bad idea, actually. As silly as it sounds. Glad I brought a lot of belt. obviously going to give us a, well, probably going to give us a temporary burst. You know what? I could squeeze a splitter in right about here. And then we've only got one belt left that's saturated. I'm not really seeing where I could... Oh. Oh. Maybe here? Alright, hopefully that'll make a difference. It's actually looking backed up. Oh, and this is backed up. Wait, what? Really? Oh, we're bottlenecked on the... No, we're not. Well, we might be, but... Actually, broke the belt there earlier. In 
in any case, that should be a much better flow of blood fuel. Alright, time to go hunting green petals. I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure we've got our search thing set to green petals. It wants me to craft an electronic factory, even we, though we've got one. Um, oh, where's the searchy search? Here it is. Corrosive pedal, go. Fantastic. Alright, um, so what are we up to? Maximum 200 lamps. Wait, did it say we have like 136 out of 209? That's actually fantastic. That's actually really really good and it looks like we're pretty close to the maximum for blood fuel all right that's not that unreasonable i'm just gonna let it go full speed now once again we reconnect this 162 out of did it say 195? At best, we can have about 200 lamps. So we've got quite a few that we can add right now. Oh, 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 this is the, the green place. There we go. I forgot slash didn't realize we had these lamps all the way back here. Cool. Oh, what's this? Okay. Welcome back, little droid. Have the Tides of Favor brought any fortune? I think I'm allergic to water. <laughs> Trying to gather corrosive flowers, but this toxic air is making it awful hard. Speaking of which, why is the air so clean around you? An interesting query indeed. Use me as an air filter. The abundant fungi cleanse the air like a good poem cleanses the soul. My favorite poem is Heartbox Friendship Packed by Company 3123. Right, anyway. <laughs> the clean air allows human crops to grow safely. Is that what the machine hooked up to does? Um, 
Seem to know a lot about company regulations. That's handy. Go collect your corrosive flowers. That was the plan. Uh, and apparently the nearest ones to the scanner up back at main base are approximately this way. If we could stop getting stuck with the mouse movement, that'd be good. Apparently it's because there's a barrier there. Oh, what's this? Potatoes? Soybeans? That's different. I see walls. Uh, are we going to have to... Maybe not. I'm hoping we've seen the last of those defense things. Alright, lamps. Over here, I guess. I've actually got all kinds of plants over here. Why couldn't we start at this outpost? Alright. If I just touch the red barrier here, it starts zapping me. Alright, that's the barrier that we've already walked around. Um, I guess I need to go further south. I vaguely remember kind of a difficult path through here. Guess we're going to find out. Oh, here it is. Corrosive flower. So we need like 50 of these, right? I'm not... I don't think I will run a production line all... Like a conveyor belt all the way back up here. I could bounce it over the... Over the barrier, just like we've done before. If it's short enough. Which it doesn't seem to be... Hmm. I think I'll just put some picker pals down and collect what they collect from a box. Scrap chest, where is it? You guys need to be looking for corrosive pe Hold up. Just how many I hope I hope we're not like ten percent of the way through the game. That's that'd be a bit much, man. No, I, I think we're getting close. Somewhat close. Yeah, let me help you with that. So we need, what, 56, I think it was, to get to the next tier. Oh, 
wait till we have 60. One more collection by each picker pal should be more than enough. Okay, that's 61. Fantastic. Let's head back. Pretty sure there isn't a shorter path through here. No, it's all blocked. Yeah. Up we go. I don't think we need any of those. And here we go. Can I handcraft these? Probably not. Uh, it looks like I can, actually. But let's not do that. Um, electronics. Here is our scrap. I think I'll just build it here. Get this out of the way. And just give it 60 corrosive petals, sure. That's actually going pretty quick. Three seconds each, so we're looking at, what, like three minutes? Less than that? Is there anything we should be doing in the meantime? Can't seem to drop a glow bulb here. Why... why is this dropped to zero? Oh, I guess it was prioritizing the bulbs down this way. So we're not getting... yeah. I might let it run a little bit longer, just in case... Well, no. If I reconnect this, by the time I get back to where we were just now, there'll be a bunch of corrosive petals waiting for me, if we need some more. What are we up to? 70 out of, I think it was 99? 29 to go. I wonder what they'll have us doing next. Is enough of the outpost working that we're going to get the blood fuel? Hmm. Is it possible for me to get there without a trail of lights? We can try it. That would... That would simplify things. Quite a bit, actually. These... Should be able to touch each other. So, if I disconnect, like, up here... Hopefully, 
Well, then it's going to have the lights going up this way. I'd have to go visit it to fix it. We're out of scrap now? Also, why is there blood or on the belt there? We're out of scrap because this thing's not powered properly. Uh. Alright, let's try this. We disconnect this lamp and... Does it refresh? I saw my map marker moving. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go over there to fix the way those are connected. Okay. Yeah, it didn't connect. Oh, does it not reach? Should reach, shouldn't it? <sighs> Am I going to have to, like, redo the whole thing all the way back? I think I am. Alright, let's see if it's possible to reach it without a trail of lamps up this way. Considering the number of hits we can take in the dark, um, especially with regen, I wouldn't be that surprised. Also, we have our trail of switched off lamps to show us the way. I just hope there's some um, free light sources up here. Probably should have... Uh... Oh, here's one. I was going to say, probably should have made sure... But I'm pretty sure I've seen a few. Can't go that way. And this is the part where I should probably trigger regen. Should have done it a little bit quicker. I'm pretty sure we can make it, even without finding another perma-light source on the way. Um, except for the minor detail that... Uh, where even... Oh god, oh no, not like this. Please, please, no, no, no. I could have made it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's doable. I thought there was another light source around there somewhere. Well, if we can make it, we're not going to need any anything but some batteries, right? I really want to get rid of the vast majority of these lamps strewn across the place. All right. Give me some blue, give me some red. I don't think we'll need the blue actually. Give me some purple and... I, not that we'll need it, but give me some green. Okay, take two. So we can definitely get as far as the, uh, the infinite light source at the base up here. I could have sworn there was another light source here somewhere, but, um, did not find it. I just need to be a little bit faster. 
like literally a second or two if I didn't bump into something. Probably shouldn't use mouse movement because if I point somewhere that I can't go, the character slows down. Alright. Didn't slow down while drinking the purple this time. Bumped into something. The fact that I can't see obstacles definitely doesn't help. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Oh my god. This counts. We did it. Alright. Um, give me my stuff back. And then we'll go and fix these lights. Down this way. Red battery, go burr. So I basically have to pick up and replace every single light. Because it doesn't want to, like, reconnect them all. That one reconnected. But not this one. Uh, and it should be trivial to make our path through the dark just a little bit easier. While saving a whole lot of lamps. We got to, like, here on our first attempt. So I think this will probably be fine. And then we reconnect all this stuff. That one's actually lit. This is actually all lit up. Fantastic. And now we have a much more efficient setup. Which will actually not fall over half the time. That'll be nice. Close call, indeed. Fast travel time. It's no good if we get there with no stuff. That's the thing. Oh, this might be a bit necessary. There we go. We definitely don't want a bottleneck on this. Which it looks like we have been because it wasn't working properly. Well, on the plus side, we'll soon know if we're actually bottlenecking on iron ingots or on the other stuff. May as well put some more pickers here while we're at it. Oh, these guys are all idle. Um... How about... Where's the picker thing? Do I need to make more? Probably. I don't think going off to the side helps that much, does it? I kind of just need to go f further. Wait, is that all of them? 
Have we pretty much tapped everything here? Let's put this here, just to make sure we have full coverage. Don't tell me it doesn't path. Bruh. Okay, fine. Squeeze it in here and probably squish more of those flowers. Alternatively, I could put it here and just put more belt down. Well, there's more up here as well. Maybe not that much. Alright. I imagine, I hope, that's going to be enough. I can dream. Judging, oh, there's more over here. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Just far enough. Need another bloody lamp. Okay. That, I imagine, will shift the bottleneck. If it didn't already. So there's our iron and scrap and everything. Going back to home base. Which means we should finally... Oh, look at that. I'm leaving that one there. Definitely. And we just need to run back and not die. If it can be helped. It is good that the light bulbs show us the... Not... Oh, god damn it. Uh, no, that's okay, actually. The light bulbs show us the not powered symbol. It's one of the few ways we can find our way in the dark, actually. Let me move. the friendship points. Where's the light? Oh, it's way over here. Oh, no. Rip in pepperonis. At least we can easily recover it. Okay. How's our going here. Got another 33, and I just realized I'm gonna have to go get my corpse for the rest. Because I didn't leave them in the chest. Which means I need a red battery. I might just pick up just one, because I really don't want to find myself overburdened and trying to do inventory management in the dark. There we go. For all the walking around they make you do in this game, uh, more player movement speed as a research upgrade would definitely be a big improvement. You need 
all of that. Give me light refresh. And can I go back this way? Probably. Yeah, definitely. There's our little lamp automation. So it's actually kind of just straight up from there. Okay. So I've got 70 plus 33. That's it. No, no it's not. Yes it is. Transistors, get out of here. Artbox update 1.0, new recipes again. Adding recipes. Holy crap, that's a lot. Corrosive fuel. Computer chip, heart chip, heart valve, and mechanical deer. Transistors received, mechanical deer blueprint available. The elk told me that an important part is near its supply pod. Oh no, it has a supply pod. I was kind of hoping we'd seen the last of those. Despite its terrible jokes, 3134 is certainly resourceful. Data logs show the supply pod near the deer station is incredibly dangerous. Normal advice would be to avoid at all costs, but I'm still going to go. But before I do, I was hoping to learn more about you. Why are the stations ordered incorrectly? Your designers are idiots. How neat. What, what is Project Human? We already know that it's just a nonsense acronym. The initiative to create a series of interconnected stations. Each station has a specific purpose, and when connected, they work together. Okay. Is that it? There was one more, I think. Friendship points. Ah. Oh. Alright, let's go. New fuel depot tier. Because we hadn't had enough of making production chains for these things. Download new tasks. Station one chip. Alright. Find the deer station supply pod, beat all levels, bring a deer replacement to station one. All right. Do we have new research yet? No? How are we supposed to get that upgrade? Did I just miss it somewhere and we're stuck without all of this? Max health, max battery, max battery, reduces physical damage twice. That's not that big of a deal, I guess. Corrosive paste. That's probably from the deers. Plus green shroom makes corrosive fuel. Alright, how many lamps do we have spare? 95 out of 200. That's more like it. Um, Let's see how many we've got if I reconnect this. Oh, what did it say? 132 out of 200. I think... I think we can manage this. Cool, cool, cool. So, once again, we need a million smoke bombs and stun bombs. We've got infinite smoke bombs because they're easy to automate. Uh, stun bombs require woozy what's-its. 
which I'm pretty sure we can't get auto-picked. Could be wrong. Woozy Tears, we can. Should have done that ages ago. Won't it be incredibly slow, though? Like... Do they respawn kind of randomly in this sort of area, or are we just yet to find a proper source for them? Like, if I just put down a picker here... Where, where the hell is it? Pick a pal station. What? Don't pick that up. Oh my god. I need... Dispense chest, which needs scrap metal and wires. Okay. Okay, so if I put a pick a pal station facing these woozy tears... Is that all it takes? this going to be gone in like a second just like if I picked it up looks like it is the whole blood water area like potential spawns for woozy tears and we have to cover a massive area if we want to automate it No frog. Nope. Bad. What do we got here? Zero so far. Fantastic. That's one. Uh, probably going to say, yeah, there isn't any. So either we haven't found a proper farm for them yet, maybe it's like all the way out here or something, or they're just incredibly slow to respawn, or we have to cover a massive area because they'll respawn randomly over this whole massive area in similar places. Don't you do it. Okay, there we go. Um, so I can make 11 bombs now. I think we're going to need a lot more than that. It was... We were trying to be overkill and it wasn't... An, it was barely enough last time. I could go back and pick up all the old defenses, that's probably easier. Nitrate. Give me back those pedals. Um, oh right, we can only queue up seven. All right. What do we need here? One less glue bulb, actually.
crafting queue full. Hiya, cool. Should probably make sure my inventory is pretty empty, if not actually empty. Um, you know what? Store all. That's only half my inventory. Do we have this one empty? Not really. Well, that's a bunch of research packs. Those should be over here. Whatever, just put it all in there. And I'm just gonna take... Batteries, batteries... Batteries... Don't worry about the green ones. So, our mission is... Head on over and pick up all the old defenses and bring them back. Away we go. Straight up should do the trick, pretty much. Zooming out would definitely help. Probably should have done that before. Don't dismantle the free light source. Here we go. Would I have seen it if I was zoomed out? I definitely would have. Whoops. Alright, now let's trigger our regen while we're in motion. Follow the orb lights. Oh god, we're zigzagging all over the place. I'm stuck. That was kind of close. Alright, let's, uh... Decon the old base. Or defenses, rather. You're joking. It's been here this whole time. Oh no. Just couldn't see it for the isometric view. Well, we've got a lot of uh, research packs. We can get stuff done pretty quickly. And plenty of room left in the inventory. Fantastic. I don't think there's anything else we need to bring back. Alright, let's try not to get it lost in the dark. Away we go. Up this way until we find the lights. Perfect. Better trigger the regen. Oh no. I should really dig through that. I can't, actually. Down. 
around the corner. Don't die. Fantastic. Zoom out so we don't miss our turn off. Here we are. No, don't place stuff. What are you doing? Why would you even do that? Alright, now we need red battery and straight back home. this? Oh, it's because that's lit, I guess. Okay. Research. Upgrade. There we go. And I th think we don't really care that much about this stuff. I'm thinking we put it all into damage reduction so that we can run through And have our damage mitigated by regen. Oh wow, that's fast. How much time is left? 4,500 seconds. And this is like, what, 5% of that? Uh, that's still like... 15 minutes. It might be a little bit of a waste, but let's... Let's use some more research packs. And once more, which feeling? You know what? I think we're going to plow through everything. No, not quite. Alright, damage resistance is maxed out. Now we want health. And I'm really not concerned about max blue battery. Um, alright. There it is. And this will be, once it's done, the last time that we have to come ping the research machine. But that won't be for a while. Unless we find more boosters. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go pick up our stuff. Or at least the stuff that we want to take with us. Um, like so. Probably going to need the health packs. I want to have this stuff in case we need to make a production chain. Um, probably should take scrap, probably should take a stack of wires, how do we make regular wires again? Scrap wires, scrap metal, and electric pedal. How much have we got in here? Oh, I already took it, I guess. Alright, how many lamps do we have active right now? Out of 200-ish. I'm pretty sure the only way to check is like this. Okay, so 135. Um, I don't think we have to worry about that. I think we just have to go around setting up hopefully overkill defenses for what I think is going to be the last pod. And whenever we see walls, we're going to pick up walls. Actually, can we make walls? It's out of scrap, right? 
basic wall from scrap metal. I can set up a... I can set up a factory to make those. So if we need more, we'll come back and find a lot of them. Where's that... Scrap chest. Iron chest, fine. Where is it? Basic wall. Takes 15 seconds. And 4 scrap. That's pretty slow. Let's make another one. So one wall every 7.5 seconds. Uh... And four scrap every 7.5 seconds. We're probably getting close to the limit of what this station can supply. So I won't bother adding more just now. Alright, let's go have a look. Maybe I could make a maze or something. I don't think they're going to act like that type of tower defense enemy that takes the long path. I think they're just going to explode on the walls. Well, some of the units will. I wonder if we'll have to deal with any new types. Time for green batteries. And we can have a chat with the deer. Where is the, uh... It's probably going to tell me. It's probably right next door anyway. Greetings, little droid. Hello, I see you're still alive. I can keep my eyes open for any coils, but first... <laughs> oh my god. You... Dits. Uh, first I need to do battle at the supply pod. No mortal coil. Derived from 16th century English. Coil refers to tumults or troubles. I didn't know that. I'll let you know if I find any tumults or troubles while I'm trying to find the supply pod. You'll find the supply pod just south of the station. Fantastic. So that's this way, right? Oh. And we'll also find a whole lot of gates. We're going to be needing some of those. You can actually click and drag to remove... Oh, that's a lot of walls as well. Or gates. Whatever. Might not need to go back to get walls. I don't, I don't regret setting up the automation for it, though. Basic wall, go burr. Wait, we seem to get... We seem to be getting basic walls instead of gates. It's fine, I've got plenty of gates. Oh, and I should probably pick up at least a stack of these. They only stack to 50? Um, don't know why I have sap paste, or iron ore. That's a lot of walls, actually. Alright, I'll take, uh, 99 corrosive petals while we're here. And... that seems to be pointing the wrong way. 
as if station one, two, and three, and five were this way? That's odd. It seems to be broken. Buff expiring. No thank you. Here is... our doom. Alright, we're gonna need lamps here. That's a given. Don't have to go very far. We should probably make sure we can see all of the incoming. like a good start. And how many lamps do we have? We've got like 50 spare. 40 at worst. Nice and clear. Except for all the green mist. Alright, so we're gonna want stun turrets. Um, how about just far enough away? So one, two, three, four diagonally from the supply pod. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that should be one, two, three, four, fantastic, buff expiring again, good thing we've got 86, all right, um, the ones that are actually in the corner are going to be a problem, we have to give them uh, I forget what it's called, fertilizer or nitrous or something. At least we brought plenty of belt this time. Actually, why don't I just do it like this? That's probably close enough. And you know, it's literally just the corners that are a problem if we want symmetry. All right, let's go clockwise. range does this have? Okay, so they've got overlapping fields of fire there. That doesn't seem too bad. We're going to want some dispenser chests. Let's put them here. Um, I imagine a stack is going to last us through one wave. I certainly hope so. And then some more stun turrets. In the middle. That seems like a good start. I guess I could just... Put them in 
the middle like this as well. Actually ran out. There we go. I think that's enough. Maybe they should be spread out more. We'll try this. And we're gonna need some... How much range do you have? Like this much range. One, two, three. That's maybe... No, that should be fine. All right, basic wall. One, two, one, two, three. I think I like that a little better. And then we can put some gates in. Actually, I think I'll keep it simple. I don't want to get, like, overwhelmed. Is there some other defense that consumed some other resource? What have we got? No, I'm pretty sure it was... Oh, the wall healer. Yes. So what does it need? Uh... Red bricks. I think, um... How much trouble was it to make wall healers? Blood cube, iron ingot, transistor. That's actually not bad. I think I've got blood cubes automated. We've got transistors semi-automated. Um, I could probably just... Well, I don't think I can do a sushi belt with multiple resources, actually. I could try... Uh, we need like five more if we're going to do it like that. Let's spread them out a bit more evenly. Unless I want to go make more. Put them towards the middle. just run a belt around the outside. Although I know not where to fit a loader. Um, I was going to move a couple of pieces of wall to make it happen, but I can't even really do that. Let's see. Uh, 
I squeeze it in here, and then make this a bouncy? Don't tell me I didn't bring... Oh, we're good, we're good. And make this a bouncy. That should probably be fine. And maybe... Maybe, maybe. I think this will do. What if I put, like, tornadoes around the place? That's not gonna, like, grab the enemies, is it? I suppose it could be worth a try. May as well make all the walls thick, actually. They're cheap. Uh oh. Did I run out? No, we're good. Okay. Oh, cool, cool. So we need to come back with uh, big orange blocks and big red blocks, basically. And hopefully this is overkill enough. I could obviously go further with it, but I don't want to put in that kind of time. All right, back we go. Should probably bring as many corrosive petals back as I can. What is that red spot there? I wonder. Alright, so we need to go all the way around this way again. I tried doing two grav pipe loops on this one, inner one and outer one, to feed two different resources to the towers, but in the end I abandoned that and went with a simpler, more brute force defense. Indeed. Mra, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to need a... But I had stamina problems. I'm going to need a, like, output chest or something to drop all these petals in. If I put a... like, an iron or scrap chest here, I don't think it functions as the input, does it? Probably not. Um, and here's our even more copious supply of walls. Fantastic. We can't limit the chest, can we? Maybe I'll want to put those down in real time. Okay. We have 25 stun bombs. Uh, 87 smokes. Uh, 
hopefully that is significantly more than we need. About three, four, five, six. Oh, and I almost forgot the resources. Blood ingot. I wish I had a bigger chest full of these. Um, there's the blood cubes. Which we need for making, I forget what. Got plenty of nitrate. I don't even remember how we make it. Um, but it's here. Let's get 200 nitrate, if I can remember where it's made. Oh, is this it? That's fertilizer. Oh, this is nitrate. And I probably should have left a chest here. Alright. I'd like to have two stacks of each before we go. That should be super overkill. I hope. Where else are we making blood ingots? I think there's some up here. I don't want to go that far. If I can help it. It might not even be ingots. Then again, it might be by far the most expedient way to get them. If not, I'll just have to automate it at this patch here. What is... what do we... no, stop. Oh, right, there's no power here. But do we have... We've got a million blood ingots in chests. Fantastic. Alright, um... Time to drop something? I didn't put all the corrosive petals away. Unfortunate. Uh, I guess grav pipe is the easiest to replace. Alright, so we've got 198 blood ingot. And I probably should have touched one of those light sources. It's probably fine. And we'll take whatever nitrate we can get on the way. Hope that's enough. Ooh, like this. So I actually almost have two stacks. Yeah, we will have two stacks. Fantastic. All right, let's -a go. I might take a little break first. Definitely need a drink and such. I don't think we can make it without a battery. going. Oh, nope, this is right. There we go. Okay. Aziz Light! Aziz Light, indeed. I'm gonna take a short break. We'll do some words on stream. And 
we will begin... Veldak will cheer. And we will begin, I think, the final pod in a few minutes. All right. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Nicely done. Let's continue, shall we? With Atrio. The Dark Wild. With what I think is the final supply pod. I'm a little scared. We get a heart valve for this one. Everything else is pretty much irrelevant. Wait, wait. E bindings. Uh, so four is bomb. Three is smoke bomb. And if we want to place walls in real time, it's five and six. That's pretty much it. I got only 66 points. Oh, no. Um... We need to dump one stack of blood ingot in here. Wait, which is which? Blood ingot goes here, actually. And one stack of nitrate in here. Because we're going to assume that this one's going to be kind of nasty. Begin. Is it going to stun them? Oh, I started it too quickly. All right. You're mine now. Fantastic. Anything else? What's getting... Do we need smoke bomb? Yeah, there's bees here. I can't see them. Oh my god. I can't... There's too much... Uh... There's... There's like too much visual noise. I can't... I thought there was a second bee over here. But apparently not. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Um, we should probably keep going while... Why are these not getting repaired? Uh, did we not put... They're definitely getting output. They're going to the outside belt. Oh no, these things consume even when they don't need to, so this end isn't even getting any. That's not what I want to see. Uh, whatever. Let's try and make the most of it. This time we do have nasty bees. And... At least I'll thingy here seems to be getting repaired. That's actually pretty powerful. That's actually really powerful. It's almost god mode. Did we get the bees? I think they disappeared because the time ran out. Alright, this is working. Let's keep it up. While well, we've still got resources. Begin. My health is fine, actually. Uh, there we go. This is not looking as good. Ouch. Let me back in. Uh, how come he didn't get stunned there? Oh well, this works. It's fine. Have some heals. Have some replaced walls. We still have 50 seconds? Uh, it'd be nice if I could have... Oh god. It'd be nice if I could have regen... But I guess we've got plenty of heals remaining. Alright, that's not so bad. Let's shove some blood ingots in here. Blood ingots in here. Next time, if there was... 
if there would be next time, I would probably... Oh my goodness, we're still going? Nope, we're fine. Alright, let's replace some of these walls. And should probably keep the pace up while we've still got resources here. Those are the wrong resources. Alright. Begin. That's a lot. That's kind of a lot. Ouchie. Don't destroy my wall. This one needs blood ingot. I don't have any left though. He's gonna get stunned by that. Fantastic. Good enough. Still 1 minute 10 though. Uh, I think I should just start building more walls. I didn't see that guy there. Is he gonna get stunned or what? There we go. Pick him up. I said pick him up. It's kind of OP that we can just spam walls, though, actually. That's not too bad. We should probably go get some more blood ingots. Um, and bombs. I don't think... I don't think we have enough bombs. No. 27 seconds still. I think I'm playing this pretty well, for the most part. Get stunned. No, 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 no. Let me out. He disappeared. <laughs> Alright, only one to go. Um, we're obviously going to need to replace a lot of walls. That's okay. Don't put wall there, actually. That should be... Rav pipe. And can I just pick up these broken walls and put them back? Is that a thing we can do? Seems like it. I don't know if I really need more than one gate. Um, you know what, it's probably easy to bring blood ingots again. Probably. Just means a long walk. Alright, can I fit all of this in my backpack? That's a lot of walls, holy crap. I think I should just make, like, another layer. Because why not? Just let it be an ablative defense. up on you. I heard the sound and I thought, okay, I've got a few seconds, and then it kind of trailed off. You know what? I needed to come here for blood ingots anyway. It's all part of the plan. Free teleport, indeed. Alright, um, we're obviously gonna need at least one green battery. Um, I don't think I need to pick up more walls. I think we probably have enough of those. 
but if I want blood ingots in large quantities, I wish we could have bigger dispense chests. Hmm. Well, anyway, even though it's unpowered, I know we've got a whole lot of blood ingots up north. Also, I could fast travel over there, but then I wouldn't be bringing the ingots. As usual, uh, fast travel is just kind of useless when you can't take anything with you. What was I looking for? Red battery. Okay, up we go to get more blood ingots. Could have set up automation over here for it, I guess. But I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end, probably. We only need one more um, level in any case. I don't know how many bombs I had left, though. I do have infinite smoke bombs to pick up, but I'm pretty sure I need to make... Uh, make some more bombs before we go, which means I should be picking up Woozy Plant. That's 12 bombs. Oh, that's 14. I forgot that we get two woozies from these. That might be enough for one wave. But I need 13 more of these. And then what are we missing? Nothing. Because blood ingot is the other input. Fantastic. We also need ideally a couple of stacks of nitrate. One is probably enough. Probably more than enough for one wave, actually. I do wish it wouldn't consume the resource when it's not actually doing anything. That's a bit... a bit much, I think. Stop picking up flowers. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gonna need to chug our green battery in a second. Ooh. No, I'd need to go... Wait, no, I think there is some. On the way here. Because I'm pretty sure there was a bit of everything um, plant-wise down here. Would be too easy to hand-feed all the towers then? I don't know about that. You could have them be a bit more greedy when they're actually working, as opposed to just consuming whenever they're doing nothing. This does... I hope I'm not going to mess something up by taking these glow plants. 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Well, that reminds me. There we go. And we're back. And I need to remove wall to find my popsicle. Where the hell did my backpack drop? Um... I kind of need those, uh... Those green batteries. I've got one minute to find them. Oh no. Where's my bag? Here it is. And of course now we have inventory problems. Uh, is there anything in there that matters right now? Smoke bombs? I definitely need those. One, two, three, four, five stacks. Oh, I don't need... There we go. That gives us two back. I guess I could put the blood ingots in early, since we've got so many. We don't need an extra stack of green batteries. Whatever, this is probably fine. We can clean it up after the fact. Actually, I'm not liking not being able to put walls there. I can't harvest the... Oh my... Fine. This is... Just, just leave it. Just leave it. Alright, give it a few seconds. Um, we'll put a gate here, because why not? They only damage the walls, though. Uh, what is hitting me? Oh, I didn't see the bees. That's a lot. Don't leave. I think it'll reset. Oh no. Really? You're gonna push me out of bounds? Okay. Where's my health? Oh god, I can't find the health because it rearranged my inventory. That's not cool. Wrong belt for ingot? This last wave is the only problematic one? The most fun? I wouldn't really call it fun. Uh, well, we should be able to walk back there with one green battery. And there's a random wall healer on the floor. I did not appreciate being pushed out of bounds, and no doubt if I was out of bounds for like four seconds it would have cancelled the whole thing. We should just build walls out to infinity. See how they like that. Feels like a sumo match. I don't think sumo matches are 20 on 1.
Where am I going? Hmm. have another bag that we can't get rid of. Um, this is fine. Get this thing out of the way. I can't harvest it. It's really irritating. Okay, this is really getting on my nerves. Please pick up the promoted employee. Nope. Guess not. Also, we're running out of our nitrate and stuff. Got plenty of blood ingots left. Alright, let's put some in here. I suppose. I know we need more than 35 nitrate. I just don't want to walk another million miles before we try again. I honestly can't be bothered. seconds of this. Oh, almost died because green batteries got lost and I got stuck. It was literally just pinned and I couldn't, there's, there's too much crap with the isometric view, like all on top of each other. You can't see what's happening. Like, I didn't realize I was covered in bees, because I had to go into my inventory to find the stupid green battery. And now we have to wait 600,000 years for nitrate? Alright, let's get another factory. I don't think I had them... No, I, I do. I have factories in a box over here somewhere. I can honestly say this game has some of the most awkward combat I've experienced since Skyrim. Got our factories, right? Do I need more belt? Not if I put it here. It's probably gonna be consuming faster than the two deers can keep up with, actually. I don't have a box handy. We have a spare box? Not really. I mean, kind of? So chest goes here, 10 seconds each, so that's one per five seconds. These guys take seven and a half. So we're only actually increasing our throughput by like 
50%. I don't want to go capture more deers right now. We're going to need more blood ingots as well. We've got some over here. What? Why wasn't that backed up? Uh, all of the mines, or all of the harvesters are down at the corpse as well. So I can't slap together that bit of automation I talked about before. I can bring more walls, I seriously doubt that we need those. I think I really will just put layers and layers of walls all the way out. Have enemies spawn stuck in walls, why not? It's about as fair as the game has been. And 50 nitrate, is that going to cut it? I seriously doubt it. We had to survive for at least two minutes, right? I'm going to try it. I, I don't want to wait all day. Impatient spiral go. Ever try using up the whole stack? Is painful. Every try, yeah, yeah, yeah. They really shouldn't. They really shouldn't consume when they're doing nothing. I'm not about to like rebuild the thing after spending that much time on it. Trap them in boxes, why not? Can we even see our bag? We can. Alright, gotta remember to trigger the green battery before we start. Um... Don't need bees. could temporarily trigger purple battery for regen, but I don't think we're going to go through eight uh, health pickups before we're done. Oh, this thing's still outputting. Did the belt get broken? I can't even move here. Um, I think the belt did get broken, and I can't even see it. Where's my belt? I've got one grab pipe here. That's... that's really not cool. We can't even see what's going on here. It looks like there's... belt here, but... It's just not working? Is it because the... Corpse is in the way? It actually is. Take the stupid green battery. Alright. Seven and eight. Close enough. Alright, so what should number one be? The 
doesn't really matter. You know what, I'm gonna put the green battery on there, even though... I'm just gonna consume these batteries early to make sure. Okay, green battery, go. Nitrate, go. These are already in here. And... begin. They don't even get stunned. damage happening. What the hell just happened there? Let me out. Let him chase me. I can't even see the bees that I'm trying to pick up. This is so dumb. We don't run out of nitrate. Get out of here. Why can't I move? Twenty-seven seconds. Why can't I pick this up? Six seconds. Turns out ring around the rosy was the strategy. Uh, I can't say that that was satisfying. Give us the stuff once we drop even more things on the ground. Um, let's see. Gates, walls, hopefully we'll never need those again. Research. Congrats, thank you. What even is that? Heart cell? Are there any more bags we need to pick up? Or is that it? I can't even tell. If I try to... Mm. I'm just gonna hope that's everything. We got the heart valve and we got the heart cell. I think that was all of the like story stuff that we need, right? Fettling the walls and kiting around in circles was how I did it as well, indeed. I got the heart cell. The tantalizing prospect of freedom lingers in the air. Can you feel it? I can't feel anything. I'm a robot. New body that you are to make me. So excited for you. What have you planned? A real philosopher does not adhere to the frivolous burdens of plans. They go where the winds will them to. We're probably eating, pooping, running in grass. One more step until freedom. Go craft a mechanical deer. 
in before evil AI. We go to our main base. Very slowly. Research complete. Leave that crap there. And didn't we already reach max level with the research? Or is it hiding stuff from us? No, I think that's... I think that's everything. Yeah. We already got everything. Apparently. Alright. That's it. I believe that's all the research. The entire playthrough. Cool. And then... Station 1 chip. How do we get that? We need to craft a mechanical deer, right? How do we do that? One heart chip, one heart cell, one heart valve. Don't tell me... It's in one of the, it's in a bag that we can't even see. In that mess that we were just sifting through. Gonna have to deconstruct a bunch of it. Just so we can see. No, I'm sure it said the rewards were Heart valve, heart cell. Was heart chip included? I'd better go check. Beat all levels. Why hasn't it marked that off? Bring a deer replacement to station one. You had the recipe for the heart stuff too? Heart chip. Oh, okay. Computer chip. Corrosive paste. Which means I need yet another deer. Should be one around here somewhere. Just enslave one more deer so we can give the giant robo-deer its freedom. If we can find one... I think I hear... No, those are pickers. I don't know if deer even make noise. I could steal one from over here if we're desperate enough. You could temporarily repurpose one of the ones you already have, yeah. Oh, there's one. Alright. So we need to feed it, uh, presumably green petals. Which we already have in here. Is that the input? But it has to be on that water of it. Let's just put it down here. Can I just, like, stand here and drop it? I think I'll need a graph pipe at least. And I happen to have one right here. There we go.
He can stun those with bombs, indeed. I finished the entire game not knowing that, as you do. Always stunned them via the food bait trap. I think I remember that being a bit of a pain. Alright, so now we need to know how to make a computer chip. It's literally just transistor and wires. Can we handcraft? We can. Fantastic. And that means all that's missing is... Uh, blood cube. I know I've got some of those lying around. Or I did. Oh, here we go. Alright. Hot chip go burr. Mechanical deer go burr. Does it have Christmas lights on it? Whatever. Uh, and now we deliver to station one. Mouse movement be like whenever there are flowers. Definitely a lot easier when we're going a long way, though. Do I have green batteries? I do. I can always see eyes, like just the black bits of the eyes behind that deer. Good news, I've made the mechanical deer, but how will, how do you know it will work? I don't. But regardless of the outcome, I will have freedom either by death or by deer. I don't know what that means, but if it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. You are special, truly, and for that I thank you. Now repeat after me. I know what you're going to say. You do? Requesting Station 1 chip for Employee 3134. Access granted. So you knew, but chose to help me instead. Of course. That's what friends are for. I wish I could help you more. No need. Let's set you free. Farewell, little droid. it worked. And then we go chase it down with a bomb. Because I've been conditioned to bomb when I see deer. I thought the mechanical deer is the mini deer? Wait, what? Alright, good for you. Freedom go burr. Born friends. I feel we're approaching something. Zero out of five. Adding even more recipes. Oh. Oh my god. Oh god. There's so much more. Okay. 
What do we got? Project human status check. All stations online. Final phase. What's the final phase? Reduce emergency food supplies. What's food? Unknown. No details are attached to these instructions. Valuable employees. You may have heard rumors that since forcing all of humanity into bunkers, morale has been low. We assure you this is not true. <laughs> food quality is not up to standard. That's not true. All cockroach meat is 100% food safe. And does not contain the consciousness of your former co-workers. Remember, employees are never alone so long as they carry company values in their heart. Our stock price... Oh my god. Our stock price is the highest it's ever been. Any rumors about the stock market not existing is a smear campaign paid for by our rivals. Plans are in the works to host this year's keynote at our new gladiatorial conference center. Hope to see you there. Food is an energy source used for survival and was commonly consumed in groups as a way to commune with friends. We could eat cockroach meat together. <laughs> Employee 3134 has not been approved as friend. Additionally, analysis suggests cockroach meat was considered the finest of delicacies. We could eat batteries together. Request will be considered after mission completion. Okay, we need a vegetable pack. Am I actually going to have to harvest the stuff that's down at the mechanical deer? I don't see objectives. Let's look at our recipes. Strengthened glass. Made out of three glass. Graphite made out of iron ingot. Metal can made out of scrap metal. Okay. So we need a, uh, at least... Oh god. Add a planter to grow cabbage. Uh, potato. Soybeans. Okay. So we need to make canned food, basically. Um, I need at least three smelters, for which I need some scrap metal. Bomb it and force it to return to its old body? Oh, that'd be nasty. And one, and two, and three. Um, did I bring the iron ingots over? I think I did the work to do it, except I didn't actually get rid of that chest. That happens to be full of iron ingots. Um, honestly, I doubt I'm going to need to fully automate this. Oh, and there's more blood rock. Well, that would have been good to know. Um... What did we need? Graphite from iron ingot. Graphite. Can I make a chest? How do we make the iron chests? That's a scrap chest, so it should be on this page, right? A search function would be very helpful. Uh, apparently not.
We're going to need a number of computer chips. Can we ever make iron chests? Don't tell me it's just a super rare item. And the the better dispenser chests as well. I would have thought... Don't tell me that's them there and we still haven't unlocked them. What's using graphite? I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, I guess we're making a scrap chest. Scrap metal and grav ore. Um, which should be in here. That's grav rock. Give me that scrap. And then... Output. Is this three to one? Okay. What else do we need? Uh, we need computer chips, which is wires and transistors. Wires are scrap, scrap wire and electric metal. We've got some electric pedals coming from somewhere over here. There they are. I just don't have a storage for them, though. Surely there's somewhere that I've got a significant amount of pedals saved up. Or not. Oh, here we go. But we don't seem to have a buffer. How about we add one? We need wires. Scrap metal. God damn it, I ate all the scrap metal. Give me that scrap metal. we make scrap wires? I'm pretty sure we had to, right? Or do we just... Didn't we end up with an infinite source of scrap wires? I can't remember. Actually, just getting them from corpses and stuff. Do I have some lying around somewhere? There's 50. Who knows if that'll be enough? Alright, a few more electric pedals. Why did I pick that up? Shoot. Alright. Uh, why were we making wires? So we can make dispenser chests. Give me some scrap. I find it rather odd that we are deliberately automating the production of scrap, but okay. Yeah, we might need a few more of these. Okay. So next was... I've completely forgotten. Metal cans are made out of scrap. That's easy enough. Very easy, actually. Two scrap, four seconds. I have a feeling it's going to take all, literally all of the scrap, though. 
I do wish splitters weren't so space consuming. Um, where even are my splitters? I think I left them back at the other station. That's suboptimal. What does this stack to? Who knows? What was the other thing we were looking for? Strengthened glass. That should be quite easy to arrange. I just need somewhere where we've got glass handy. Uh, I take everything back. Where do we have glass? Oh, right, we were automating lamps over here. So this is glass. Um, if I move these over a bit, or if I just don't automate lamps anymore. Let's put our smelter here and make strengthened glass. What's the problem? No problem. Okay, so that's strengthened glass, fully automated. Um, cans, fully automated, but they're going to take all of the scrap. Um, uh, what is this called again? Graphite, semi-automated. Should really just bring a belt over. In fact, let's do that. Probably have enough, maybe. There's actually, like, too much iron in this chest. Oh, apparently I can just do that. Or this could be stuck on the belt forever. No, we're good. I don't think... I think all of our iron is going into blood fuel right now. Blood fuel and scrap. Hmm. It really is hard to get decent throughput in this. Well, I can just dump a bunch of that in there. We're probably not going to need more than like several hundred iron ingots anyway, right? Right? Maybe I should have made a bigger buffer. Uh, okay, so we need a bunch of computer chips. Where did my wires go? I already turned them into all the dispenser chests. I can't even remember what we're making. Dehydrator chip. I have a feeling we're going to have to mass produce those. Canned cabbage, canned potato, canned soybeans is vegetable pack. We only need one of, we only need one vegetable pack for the entire thing, right? I think it said zero out of one. Yeah. So we need... Oh. Is that really it? I, I literally just need to go get one of each of these. We've already got way more metal cans than we'll ever need. We need three dehydrators. Uh, which is to say six computer chips. Um, I think we've got enough transistors already. We just need six wires. So five more scrap metal, six more pedals. One, two, three, four, five. Inventory, bloody hell. Uh, drop some factories, because why not? 
There's not enough petals over here. Oh, we get three at a time. Oh, so we've got more than enough, right? No? Uh, computer chip times six. Three of these. Dehydrator chip. And then we need one soybean, one potato, one cabbage. I don't think we need planters for those, we can literally just take them. What is using graphite? That's a good, good question, actually. There's even more stuff over here, though. Was I coming back here for again? Oh yeah. One potato, one cabbage, one soybean. I should probably start planting them because I get the sinking feeling uh, that actually we will need a lot more than one of each of these. That's a soybean. Uh, that's a potato apparently. And my inventory is perpetually full. Let's just drop batteries here. Why not? Uno cabbage. Maybe one of the hot component? That's fine. So can we make a planter? Add to a planter. Right, right, right. I'm going to turn these into seeds. And animations go burr. Oh, we can skip them. I wonder what kind of part-time a speed run of this would be. All right. So we need to make some planters now. Well, I think I've got a couple lying around at the very least. Uh, blood ore and electrolyte paste. We've got that everywhere. That's probably the last time we have to come back to the mechanical deer. Oh yeah, I remember. I literally... Oh, we have three right here. Perfect. Um... Considering the way the frogs work... Do we have room over here? Kinda, yeah. Do I have any frogs handy? I do. Oddly enough. So we want planter to line up with with the last slot, and then I'll add some more. Where are my planters? Here we go. So this should go here, I think. No, nope, that's one off, surely. Just like that. That's going to be in the way if I... About here. That's really annoying. Okay. 
Just like that. And we'll line up these other ones in line with this other stuff we've got already as well. Where are my lamps? We can spare a million lamps right now. No need to be stingy here. Alright, so frog goes... Uh, right about here, actually. And then... This one would go here-ish. That's not quite right. I wish you could see how far they reach when you mouse over them. Alright, that needs to go one tail further to the right here. Fantastic. Alright, so potato can be first. Oh, how about cabbage first? Actually, potato will be on the right. Potato seed, water, paste, and fertilizer. Um, water, paste. What the heck is that? Do we need to feed blood water to deers? Probably. Whatever the case, we'll start with that. And then we've got... Soybean. Same thing. And last but not least is cabbage. That's corrosive paste. That is not cabbage. Alright. And our belts need to... So this is looking for water paste. But also fertilizer? How do we get two things into it? Don't tell me we're going to need, like... I think for each of these we'll need a splitter. And we'll have a springboard. Putting stuff in like so. Oh, and the splitters can't be right next to each other. I'm gonna have to go back for the splitters. Well, I could easily just move this over a tile, that's not a problem. Um, how do we make more planters? Blood ore and electrolyte paste. Bare minimum, I need three more. Blood ore should be here. And electrolyte paste. Oh, hey. Um, hold still. Where'd he go? Come back. I want to be friends. Don't run. Don't run. We are your friends. There we go. Friendship achieved. Alright, so that's electrolyte paste, which is what we need actually. That'll do for now. And what's next? Oh yeah, I need to find out 
if this is how we make water paste. Blood water plus deer equals water paste. Cool, cool, cool. Presumably it's going to be another really, really slow recipe. So we'd need an awful lot of deers to make this work. At speed, that is. Um, but I'm not particularly worried about at speed. Just yet. Frog. Now here. Um, I think the beehives should cover everything already. Fantastic. So, because splitters can't be right next to each other. We'll need these to go like so. And... I, I imagine we're going to need a lot of deer if we want to speed this up. Ooh, speaking of deer. Alright. Uh, where is it? about number eight. I'm just going to put these here, I think. That's the wrong way around. And we're looking for water paste which takes 10 seconds, as opposed to 15, 22, 20, 20. It's the fastest recipe, so hopefully we won't need too, too many of them. And this is the part where we need splitters. Oh, and we need fertilizer still, which is going to be on a belt similar to this one. Um, I'm very tempted to just take the fertilizer we've already got way down here somewhere. But, what is it? Sap? It's like two steps from a tree, right? Sap tap, deer... And then... Factory. But... We've already got this, why don't we just belt it over? Spaghetti go brr. Oh. Because we already did the splitter thing here. That one's actually needed for the one that the frog... Oh, this is the one the frog can't reach. So this won't actually really cause any problems. Alright. We'll send our fertilizer along like so. Can we cheese it through here? I think so. as difficult as I was expecting. Um, let's see. We want... here to here. And... that's basically it, right? 
if we're going to keep this short. Slightly out of range. Alright, there's our fertilizer spaghetti. Now we just need splitters. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go get them. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually remember, I think. Left them in one of the corpse bags. There. Oh, more deer. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if we captured our friend? Oh no. Pretty sure they were there before. We could also go back with a bunch of corrosive petals just in case. Alright, there's a bag over here, with our iron dispense chests that we still don't know how to make. Uh, we don't really need more bees, and there's our 19 splitters and 99 scrap wire. Smelters are easy to make, I think I'll just leave that one there. Where am I going? What? Oh. Are the nasty eyes supposed to be the imagination of the droid, or what? It's kind of strange. You disappear when you walk up to them. Alright, so what do we get? Splitters, here we go. Buff expiring, I'm sure we'll be fine. Splitter, go... There's not anything on this belt. Uh, oh, yes, there is. Okay, it's just really, really slow. And that'll have to do. Now, why aren't they growing? Needs more fertilizer? Did we not get fertilizer across? Are we that slow on fertilizer? That wouldn't surprise me. I think there's a little too much deer hunting in this. Uh, let's drop the corrosive paste. Can we just make deer now? 
Mini deer captured. Mechanical deer scrap metal. Uh, wasn't making mechanical deer a pain. Iron ingot. Corrosive paste. Computer chip. Yeah, I think it's still easy just to hunt them. Normally I'd like to automate everything, but the amount of space and trouble everything takes, it's a lot. Alright, we're super slow on... let's get rid of this now. Uh, if I could ever pick anything up, that would be nice. Let me just drop off some more ingots over here, I think it was. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, we're getting rid of this so that we can fit more deer. Actually, how fast is the sap tap? Does it tell us? The answer seems to be we're already maxed out on deer. So we need another sap tap. How fast is the fertilizer maker? Five seconds per unit. These guys are 15 seconds. So one more deer here. And we'll have to bring more sap somehow. And we've made the most of this little bottleneck. How do I make a sap tap again? Good question. Um, scrap metal and tree chomper. I remember tree chomper being a pain. Oh, alright. We just need five scrap metal at the moment. We've already got the blood cubes and transistor. One, two, three, four, five. But that means if I really want to scale up the sap. Oh, did, did we not? Mm. Uh, what am I dropping? Oh, corrosive pedal. Easy. And one more sap tap. Schnell bitte. And then we'll just bounce it over here. Oh my god. What? Did I just pick up a lamp or... No, that doesn't seem to be everything. Okay, there we go. I think I did pick up a lamp. Phew, I thought our power was having a disaster. Um, so I don't think... I don't know how much more nitrate we ever need. At least not from here. So let's fix that. And hopefully we see some fertilizer. It was exactly three to one, right, for this? Yeah. So that should be enough to get one fertilizer every five seconds now. Looks like it is. Oh, that would probably help. So we need two sap 
taps, three deer, and one factory. Well, it's like one point something, one point two five sap taps or something like that. Um, do I want to make another three deer? Heart chip, heart cell, heart valve. The valve is easy. The chip is... Uh, I don't remember what goes into corrosive... Oh, I do remember corrosive paste, actually. We just need a computer chip, which just means wires, which just means electric pedal and scrap, which just means dropping things as always. Um, where's those electric pedals? I'll just head over this way. How many do we need? Uh, literally just one, I think. Whatever, let's make a couple. And then end up dropping that too. Scrap metal. Why are we not getting scrap metal now? What? Now we're getting a burst of scrap metal. What was up with that? That's actually kind of scary, because that's where our power comes from. Oh, another deer. Can't, can't not get another deer. What am I dropping? Hopefully we don't need the health packs ever again. That's one of three. By the time I get this build, we'll have just found more deer, I think. Um, so we need a computer chip, which means we need wires. And that's it. And then we need one more blood cube and some strengthened strengthened glass, which I put over here. I don't think I ever fully automated blood cubes because they were a bit of a pain. Either that or I automated them far away. Blood cube. Blood ingot and grav ingot. That's actually... It's actually not really a problem. In fact, it's the same recipe as the smoke bomb. You're kidding. I don't think we're going to need smoke bombs anymore. And if we do, we can always change it back. Alright, um, as always, trying to figure out what to drop, let's get this out of the way, and now we can get a bunch of blood cubes at our leisure. I think I just need three more. One, two, three. Uh, and three? Oh, it's slow on the grav ingots. Because this thing is set super slow. Oh, apparently our fertilizer is backed up. Wait, did I never connect it properly? No? It's just already backed up. Huh. Well, that makes it easy. Um, scrap chests? Scrap chests. Does that work? It do. Cool, cool, cool. We're probably going to run out of fertilizer pretty damn quick now. 
but yeah. Mechanical D, heart valve, and heart cell. There's our heart cell. And we literally just need one iron ingot for heart valve, which is way over here. Hey, is this game funky for funky's sake, or is it really good? Uh, I think it's a bit of both. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, honestly, just get rid of these unique chests. There we go. And now we can make a single mechanical deer. Probably... Oh, and that's not even the last step. Okay. That plus scrap metal. All of that to not go bind a deer. Alright. Uh, if we get one more deer, I could go ahead and double the fertilizer. If that even is going to look necessary. Alright, we got cabbage, we got soybeans, and we got, for some reason, only six potatoes. Um, is this... How did we run out of seeds? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What? How did this get busted? We did have potatoes in here, right? Yeah, we wouldn't have got six of them if... If we didn't do that right. That's really strange. It did get sucked away. What the hell? Tornadoed. So only potatoes get pulled away like that? Before the bees can do their thing? Is that a bug? No, the soybeans got pulled away. Didn't we measure this the same as... Hold on. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Hold on. So it actually pulls one further than this green thing displays. I thought we lined these up the same as... Do I have something long to, like, measure it? Here we go. I thought we lined these up the same... Nope, we did not. Well, there's your problem. I'm surprised we got as many as we did before it fell over. That's going to be a real pain to update. Well, not that much of a pain, but let's find out. I I'm guessing we're going to have to produce way more vegetables based on these dark grey outlines here. Let's go get our metal cans. See just how much we need to do here. Um, Alright, we got about a million metal cans in here by now. 50 per stack. Cool, cool, cool. And we can make canned cabbage. 
and potatoes and soybeans and vegetable pack there we go and no doubt we're gonna have to fully automate that I suspect but we can continue with the story now one of five What do we got? Meal kit. Now an order for one million pack, indeed. Food analysis contamination is at zero percent. Food? These useless plants? Ration is approved for human consumption. Proceed to next step, meal kit. What's a ration? <laughs> You may have heard rumors that ever since the Gladiatorial Conference Center fiasco, our company size has shrunk. You may also have heard rumors that our ration quality is not 100% cockroach meat and causes outbursts of irrational anger. You may have also heard that some bunkers have gone rogue and are now forming violent raiding parties. You may have also heard rumors that after the janitorial units replace you, you will no longer be receiving employee benefits such as yearly stock option bonuses, 401k, discount gym memberships, rations, and electricity. You may have also heard that everyone at HQ is dead, and these are automated messages. We assure you that token not found. Thanks for making quarter four the strongest quarter we've ever had. Brilliant. Analysis suggests rations were larger collections of fine delicacy foods, such as cockroach meat. <laughs> that must have really been special. Analysis suggests it was the lifeblood of human society. Attempting to eat some does sound interesting. Maybe the next mission can be to find some, and then we can try it together. Oh boy. All right. Uh, so we need one meal kit only. Maybe we won't have to mass produce this. Uh, just four of these and one honey. Um, could I go to the trouble of fixing the toad length? We're going to have to lengthen this one by one, this one by two, this one by three. Is it really that difficult? Not really. Especially when I've got some spare planters. Um, we've got plenty of potato, soybean, and cabbage. Alright, let's just tear this up. Hopefully we won't end up with a full inventory. Should have gotten rid of these first. Um, should probably move this frog back so we can try and make the most of beehives we've already got. So it was, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this should be the one that he's unable to mess up, right? And it is in range of the beat box. And then we need bouncy things. We need splitters. And... 
because we can't put these right next to each other. We need this to go here. I mean, they are right next to each other, but they're two tiles wide. Um, and we need fertilizer to find its way. It's one tile off. Uh, how am I going to do it? Over here, actually. That's perfect. Give me that fertilizer back. Just pick all that up. Now, why? Oh, because this is pointed at the wrong spot. There we go. Oh, it's being greedy. It's taking all the fertilizer. There we go. So that should get the cabbages started. And then we need room for a frog. And then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be soybean. We're going to need soybean seeds. And once more with splitter. Now we know what this part's gonna look like. What? Why can't I place this here? Huh? Why can't I put a. Why can't I put a bouncer here? It's rather strange. Can I remove the frog and then put it there? What's special about this tile? Bruh. Alright. Uh, I think I'll have to move these up or something? Can, can we stop this for a sec? That's really strange. If I had uh, soybeans growing in here, we're missing fertilizer. Would that stop me from putting this here? No, I think this is a bug. That's a bit weird and annoying. I'm gonna have to move things because of this. Literally every other tile is fine. What if I remove this? There's a bouncer aimed at this tile. That doesn't change anything. Cabbage. Okay, I guess that works. Do we have seeds in here? We do actually. If we get rid of our toad for the moment, the bees will move that across. Actually, I can, like, take this, right? Oh, never mind. I actually do have the seeds. Okay. We don't need to worry about our toad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This needs to touch here, right? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. That looks right. And then... Now I can't put this here. But I can if I put it there first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got the seeds already. And then that's it. it. Should be here. That looks right. So this needs to be potato. Stick them in a stew. Fantastic. Do I have seeds? I don't think I do. Potato seed. There we go. Now then. Those line up correctly. Those line up correctly. This is going to go here and here. And that should be fully automated luxury stuff, just like we thought we did earlier. This toad is in the wrong place. Okay, there we go. If your counts are based on the effective frog range, the frogs aren't sucking up the seventh purple things. Yeah, they're not supposed to, otherwise they can make it so that there are no more seeds uh, for the bees to use. Maybe I should have put more hives here anyway. Oh, and this goes here. So it might take a little while to saturate, but we should see fertilizer over here now. Fantastic. And now we just need to preferably automate dehydrated chips. But that sounds like a lot. Blood cube and computer chip. We've already got blood cube. Computer chip is transistor plus wires. With semi-automated transistor chip. To fully automate it, I would have to drag belt all the way from here back up here. I guess it can be done. Flying fertilizer everywhere, indeed. Bronkles, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, this is not getting a whole lot of scrap these days. I'm putting it into too many things. But we can make sure it has enough corrosive petals at least. Okay. So we have... Uh, we need to automate wires. We can't really automate wires. I'm pretty sure scrap wires... Uh, I don't recall finding an infinite source for scrap wires that we can automate. So there's not really much point if we have to do a bunch of it by hand anyway. It might still be worth it to semi-automate it. Except I need to steal electric pedals. Um, I 
We need another electronics lab, right? Electronics factory. There's one over here we still haven't used. Should probably put a dispenser chest here in case we want to come and pick up a bunch of transistors later on. And then we just set this to computer chip. And presumably we need another electronics factory to make wires. That's easily done. Uh, so we need to bring over electric pedals. This is kind of in the way. I was going to put this here. We could do it this way, I guess. Oh, we can make scrap wire. Wait, wait, wait. So... If I look under electronics in the handcrafting menu... It's not like Factorio, where something you can't handcraft would be, like, grayed out or something. It just doesn't show the scrap wire here. But it turns out there is a recipe for scrap wire. And all it takes is scrap paste. Alright. So we're going to be needing... Well, that's a lot of corrosive paste. Um... What else needed corrosive paste? I think it was heart chip. And nothing else so far. One more electronics factory. Um, and that one's going to be for scrap wire, which can go straight in here. Needs scrap metal and electric pedal. What if I just put one of these here? And we have electric pedal find its way in like this somehow. I think I'll steal electric... We've got electric pedals here, but um, it's barely keeping up with whatever it's doing over this way, I think. Um, I think I'll steal it from over here. Which might not be as hard as I was thinking. We don't really need a splitter. Bouncy pedals go bouncy. Oh, it even lines up. Wait, does that one want pedals? It does. Perfect. Oh, so that's pedals automatically coming in here. Scrap wire. We're going to have to figure out where that fits. Uh, it's literally just sap paste, which we can steal from I don't know where. I thought we had it down here somewhere. This is sap paste. It's feeding all of our fertilizer, but fertilizer's backed up. So... How about... Over here. This is getting to be the sketchiest spaghetti base. But what can you expect? Uh, 
and it was the scrap wire. I know I'm gonna need more scrap wire for handcrafting, right? So let's put it in here. Scrap wire goes here. Scrap already theoretically reaches there someday, but probably not. Uh, I think we can probably stop making basic walls. That's uh, that's one way we could increase the amount of scrap that we have to play with. Yeah. Alright, so we were trying to bring over... Where even is it? Set paste? Am I out of bouncies? Holy crap. I'm pretty sure I automated them. Um, But where is the question? Where, oh, where could my bouncies be? If it needs quartz ore and grav ingot, it should be around here somewhere. Speaking of which, I'll probably need some more belt. That's factories. I'm sure I automated these. But I know not where. Quartz ore and grav ingot. We've got quartz over here. That's regular quartz. Quartz ore is over here, and we need grav ingots as well. Which is what this is. I didn't tear it up, did I? Surely not. Surely not. I guess it's possible. You know, I could have just made some by now. Grav ingot and quartz ore. I don't have a buffer chest for this here, but probably somewhere else. No. Frame rate's starting to get a little bit bad. I can't believe I've done this. And here we've got grav ingots with no buffer chest as well. Unfortunate. All right, let's just grab what we can. Grab ingots, that's grab ore. Quartz ore as well. Um, I think we're gonna have to take it from this belt. What are we dropping? Can I drop the fertilizer here? Nope. Apparently not. There we go. I think that'll find its way under the belt. I'm not convinced, actually. There we go. Alright. Grav ingot. I think is in here. Only 17, but that's not nothing. I 
Now, where would I have a lot of quartz ore? If I had buffer chests here, that would be very easy. Alright. Springboard, go. Don't tell me my inventory is full. Okay, finally. I could have sworn I had this automated. Uh, so what are we doing here? We need set paste. It's almost here. Where was it? And it needs to line up with that one. That's kind of a pain. It's probably fine, actually. Did I not? Oh. Is that it? This thing's not powered. Okay. Did we finally get it? Oh, that is slow. I don't think we have to worry too much about the throughput there. How do you make sap paste into cables, though? Well, whatever the case, we've now got fully automated... We can get this out of the way. I'll just put these scrap wires in here. Fully automated wires, and fully automated uh, computer chips. Wait, where's the output for this? Oh, that's... wait, is this transistor? No, oh, this is transistor. Oh, it's sending... Wait, what? No, that's... that's right. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I should have put this scrap wires in here. Confirm that this works. Which it does. Fantastic. Alright. And that is fully automated computer chips. I think. Well, except for the fact that we haven't fully automated corrosive pedals from halfway across the planet. Oh, I can't even remember why we needed the computer chips. We needed them for dehydrator chips. Blood cube plus computer chip. That's easy enough. We've got blood cubes over here. We're going to need more bouncies to bring them over and we'll just do yet another electronics factory right about here probably mm, you know what I really should have a a buffer for these I, I have a feeling I'm going to need more I just have this strange hunch. Can I put this here without causing problems? Yeah, I think I can. So this will be a dehydrate chip. And that just leaves bringing over the blood cubes. Somehow. Need more quartz ore. Can't just hold down the button. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Still not enough. Well, we probably don't need a whole lot of springboards. Now we can't put anything here. What about here? Not sure why that's valid. As opposed to the other location. And that should be it. There it is, our first automated dehydrator chip. Now then, we need to combine these into this, and then four of those plus one honey. Um, I think we'll just grab the dehydrator chips directly. Why don't we have computer chips? Because we don't have wires. Because because why is it? Surely it's not just that wires are slow. Scrap metal is slow. Oh, it's scrap wires, rather. But I have a bunch that I dropped over here. Also, I kind of want to put most of those transistors back. Oh, that's fine. Alright. Make way for... Scrap wires. In you go. Fantastic. That's actually quite fast when it has resources. So we need uh, 12, right? We need four times this. And this is three. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we just need 12 dehydrator chips. And we've, we're a quarter of the way there already. Alright. That's soybeans done. And then we need... Well, we need dehydrator chips. Uh, I think we've already... We're already carrying enough of everything else. Oh, it needs double computer chip? Oh, this is the problem. I kind of wish it wouldn't uh, default to super slow with the dispense chests. That's actually quite fast. So let's do canned potatoes. We're obviously going to need to drop things. Canned potato. Fantastic. Should probably drop the potatoes here. And the soybeans. And... Wow, that was even faster than expected. One, two, three. And then we make three vegetable packs. We take some nasty ground honey. If I can remember where I saw it. Or I could just grab it from a beehive, like you're supposed to. Uh, did I make three of these, not four? Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Let's grab the honey while we're here. Uh, one, 
two, three, and now we can drop the cabbage, now we can drop the potato, now we can drop the soybeans, and now we can make the meal kit. Fantastic. Three to go. this water filter. Food analysis contamination is at zero percent. Package is approved for human consumption. Next step is water filter. The poisonous stuff that makes me explode? Why would you want me to make explodey poison? Reason unknown. You're not trying to kill me, are you? Negative. Likelihood of mission completion has been calculated to be 99.9% .9 with current employee. In addition, the consumption of cockroach meat will be less satisfactory if consumed alone. I can't wait to be done... the mission? Is there anything else you want to do? Future plans have never been considered. Maybe we can decorate the base? Decorations would be nice. Maybe there's some database logs about how to decorate a station. Not bad idea. Well, it looks like this is it. I'm on the last can of food. To be fair, I never thought I'd last this long. Sorry to hear it. Are you really going to upload yourself into a cockroach? I mean, why not give it a shot? They live forever. Fair point. Not to be too blunt, but if I ever make it, to your bunker, you won't mind if I steal all your bunker decorations? You'll be the last living person on Earth. Do whatever you want. Opening most relevant file. That was morbid. Agreed. Ignore that email and proceed with the mission. So one water filter. How do we make this? Uh, it's literally just graphite plus transistor. I foresee this chapter lasting a little less time. Maybe I should put the graphite back before I have inventory woes again. New recipes. What's this? Water bottle. Filter analysis, 99.6% filtration achieved. Filter is approved for producing potable water. Next step. Employees to prepare for power diversion upon mission completion. Look at us go, we're on the final step. Alt power divert diversion was never disclosed. Heartbox does not possess high enough clearance level. A power diversion will result in a full database wipe. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like a big deal. All employee data will be lost. Employee 3134 will cease to exist. Suggested course of action halt all mission progress to preserve employee 3134. Wait, you want to stop? Sacrificing a valued employee is not worth completing a mission with unknown purpose. We knew we we knew Heartbox had done a 180, but that's complete. Completing the mission is my purpose, incorrect. Knows how to persevere, decorate, be a friend. Presence is necessary to avoid exceeding loning, loneliness and sadness levels. Oh. Is there anything we can do about the power diversion? 
Deemed a top priority amongst Project Human. Next step is potable water. Halt employee should stay and proceed with the mission. Oh no. Water bottle. It's water filter plus two water paste. You can just make another water filter. Four of five. I wonder if the last step will take two seconds or twenty minutes. Adding recipes. Survival pack. Water analysis contamination is at zero percent. Water is approved for human consumption. Proceed to final set step survival pack. Employee is reminded it still has time to change their mind. I never give up on my mission, apparently. Mission purpose is unknown, mission outcome is unknown. However, halting mission would guarantee a promotion to friend. In my mind, we are already friends, and besides, I was never meant to live more than 14 minutes. Hanging out with you has just been a bonus. Overriding mission objectives, employee, mission deviance above acceptable threshold. Final step, survival pack. Redacted, redacted. Oh no. As always, struggling is futile, our designers are cruel. Don't worry, we'll be able to talk before the power diversion, right? Correct. Will I also be able to say goodbye to the other friends I've made? Goodbyes are not necessary if employee chooses to halt mission. Station 2 has accepted a request for conversation. Come visit me. I'd like to speak with you before you complete your mission, punk monk. I thought that was station three. Don't go. We'll talk again before I finish the mission. It will be all right, I promise. Oh no. Right. I think we'll go talk to punk monk before we make 15 survival packs. Monk Monk, how curious. Identical in every way down to the last rivet, and yet somehow you made it. I wonder why. Three and a half watermelons. Your stomach thinks all potatoes are mashed. Certainly not because of your intelligence. I want to understand you better and why you made it this far. A real philosopher does not adhere to the frivolous burdens of plans. They go where the wind where the winds will tell them to. What? I don't know, the deer station said it, and it sounded cool. Even more curious, you're still going to finish the mission despite knowing death is imminent? I'm just living in the moment. How curious indeed. Or maybe... Is that Flickr deliberate? We're so focused on worrying about the future, we forget to focus on what's happening right now. Maybe if everyone spent their energy on what they could control, the world would be a better place. Maybe it's not about job titles or promotions, but relationships we build that truly matter. Maybe. Three and a half watermelons? Wait, what? Where did that come from? I like watermelons. No, the other part. Focusing on the here and now part. I don't know what you mean. The thing you said before, watermelons. I'm just living in the moment. How curious indeed. It seems there is something inside of you that none of us will ever understand. Okay. Well, I'm off. I have a mission to finish. 
Someday there will be life back in these fields and we will owe it to a little droid who found a new lease on life. Goodbye, little droid. And here I thought Punk Monk might have some alternative. Alright. What's our su suicidal task? Three meal... No, one meal kit. Three water bottles, three water filters. Well, that's easy. I'll do the meal kit first. So it's four of each vegetable. And you got two potatoes lying around. And 15 survival packs? Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. I think it's still going to be easiest to just handcraft. All the, all the inputs, except for like the two or three final steps, are automated at decent speed. Why do we only have nine of these, though? We're out of blood... blood cubes? Why are we out of blood cubes? Because... There's no grav ingots. Oh. Um, I think I see a way I could, probably not, honestly, steal some grav ingots from here. Probably shouldn't be messing with the purple stuff. I'm, I don't think it's going to matter for much longer. So how about we steal these? And we'll get our blood, uh, blood cubes a bit faster. Meanwhile, so we're looking for one, two, three. Uh, three times four is twelve. Times fifteen. It's like 160, 170 or something, right? Dehydrators that we need. We really need these blood ingots, blood cubes to go a bit faster, I think. Hurry up and die. Um, where else can I get grav? I'm pretty sure I remember this being a problem ages ago. There's not really enough, uh, grav rock. I think there's some over here. Yeah, I think I remember noticing that. If I tossed it over the bridge or over the water to the other station, that would have been handy a while ago. Nope, that's blood. We've got blood everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, scrap is backed up. That's kind of good. Oh, I can actually hold a hundred of these. This is not a lot right now. Um, where else can I get grav? Maybe this way? I can't remember if I ever really explored in that general direction. Very much. 
Oh, grab ingots here are backed up. Now it's blood ingots. Um... I think we've got enough factories to last until the end of time. I feel like a paperclip maximizer disassembling itself at the end of the universe. Alright, so we're going to put in... Another factory right here. It's gonna make blood ingots. And we're gonna put the blood ingots here. Once we get this stuff out of the way. Oh. Well, that took the grav ingots, and uh, they're still backed up over here. It's probably fine, as long as we don't, like, lose power before... I could disconnect this. Probably should. Where's the light bulb? There we go. I think, actually, I think we have a bunch of spare light bulbs, even with purple not working. 163 out of 162. I think we'll be okay, actually. Because I saw purple was already down to basically nothing. Alright. Early power diversion? What? Uh, what do we need? Three water filters? Per survival pack. So, 45 in total. But they're really, really easy to make. Same goes for the water bottles. Except, when we can only queue up seven things... Maybe I could at least make the water filters automated. Um, what's the input for this? Oh, iron ingots. Never mind. I could at least dump it into a factory, though. I dropped all the factories. Where did they go? This place is getting bigger than I realized. Okay. Why do I have a bunch of grab ingots in my inventory? Turn, turn them into cubes. Pretty please. There we go. Now then. Factory. Factory... I don't know, here I'll do. Oh, it needs to be an electronics factory? And that's gonna make water filters. And we're just going to dump 99 graphite in at a time. And same goes for transistors, I think. That's not transistors. Oh. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, did I not do a buffer chest for transistors? Alright. Scrap chest. 
trees in the way. That's annoying. Now my inventory is going to be full for the 17,000th time. Uh, drop the nitrate. Drop the blood rock. Drop the grav rock. Put this here. And dump that in there. I can't put this here either. Okay, that's that's a little bit annoying. Is this in use? Kind of. Um, just put it over here. Now if that doesn't have room, I will be a little bit surprised. Graphics looking a little strange. It's fine. We're going to have way more filters than we know what to do with. What we really need is to speed up blood cubes. Alright, let's see how much we can make for now. Um... So what was it? Four for a meal pack. Twelve dehydrators. Times fifteen. Is 180. Which means I think 190... Oh, sorry. Uh, 360 blood cubes. That's our bottleneck. So I guess now that we're bottlenecked on now now that the graving gets it backed up uh, somewhere around here there's more blood stuff blood ore we'll go ahead and take advantage of that. some springs. Uh, let's see. Here will probably do. Alright, so for the moment we've doubled our blood So we need 10 times 180, 1,800 blood ingots this is going to take. Oh, I haven't used this one. Easy money. Um, let's put one of these here. Is this thing bottlenecked, or... This is 12 seconds to consume three, so one every four seconds. 
This is one every two seconds. We need two of these. Uh, and we need four to consume all of that. Okay, we can actually fit quite a lot more blood ingot shenanigans here. Um, so let's do that. Get all of this out of the way. Stop con confusing ourselves. Start from scratch up here. So it was one every two seconds for these, right? This is one and a half per second. And then... Blood ore. That takes two seconds. Oh, it doesn't actually tell us how much we get from the ore harvesters, does it? We just have to keep adding until it's too much. Um, but one of these supports, I think, two of the next step, right? Three every 12 seconds is... Uh, one every four seconds. This is one every two seconds. So yeah, one to two. I could do it in the triangle formation again. Alright, let's get this crap out of the way. I might be needing grav pipe, actually. Uh, perpetually looking for inventory space. Don't think we have to worry about carrying water filters. Alright, let's make like three of these and see if this can keep up. One, two, three. Blood ingot, blood ingot. Give me some belt. Have to run all the way over there. And and we can repeat that pattern indefinitely. Definitely got enough space for however much we can support here. So once again, bouncy, two of these on the side, and one of these back here, and then like this. That lamp's kind of inconvenient. Is this working? Looks like it is. I don't see movement here though. Because this is on the wrong recipe. Oh. And if that belt isn't staying backed up. Uh, which it kind of seems to be... No, it's losing ground. 
Alright, we've got enough machines here to consume all of that. Oh. And we might want to do the same thing up here. Ingot. Wait, that's not quite right. Uh, ingot and ingot. Actually, couldn't we, um... No, because then we couldn't have the input there. double it here as well. I don't know. If three of these can't keep up with two sets of three, then I don't know if two is going to be... No, it's not staying backed up. So that's fine. I think that's about all we're getting from the immediate... Never mind. Oh, there's actually, like, unlimited blood ore up here. No wonder I thought this place had blood ore in not insignificant quantities. Okay, so we'll probably want to do another, another lot here. about one, two, and three. Oh, that's already on ingots. Um, how about like this? Should do it. And by now we're probably looking at bottlenecking on the grav ore. Yeah, this this is running out. That's fine. So how many of these do we have now? Oh, the chest is half full. And the blood cubes are backed up. We're actually out of computer chips because we're out of transistors because uh, we need to manually feed corrosive pedals in. And rather than... Uh, Rather than running a belt all the way across the map, I think I'll just go and pick up a few more stacks of that. Do I have green? I do have green. Fantastic. Onward to arbitrary sacrifice. Be just about here or not. There it is. 
Oh yeah, that's that's probably enough. That's probably enough corrosive petals to carry us to the end. Two transistors handy. Probably could have dumped them into the computer chip maker. Also, here is 73 blood ingots. That might help. I don't think we're bottlenecked on the blood ingots anymore. I'll just bear that in mind. Uh, where was I putting this? In here. Oh, it already consumed half of it? It's kind of fast. It's full as well. So we're just waiting on... Scrap cables are kind of slow. What if, hypothetically... For the sake of argument... Put another one of these here, making scrap wire. And we aim our bouncy pad. I wish I could just reconfig. Oh, I can. That works. We should notice that sooner. So now we've doubled our scrap cable. And I don't think we're having any trouble keeping up with the sap paste. So that bottleneck just got some relief. What do we have here? 25 chips? Nice. Um, I think I should just put a scrap chest here, honestly, because this will only go to 25. We need 360 in total. Should I automate all this? I think with the sheer volume it is going to be easier. Good grief, what an absolute pain in the butt. Alright. So we're going to need... and... Cabbage, potatoes, soybean here. I think I'll just semi-automate. I can definitely bring stuff over as far as the food goes instead of... Is this under... It's factory, okay. Uh, rather than running three more belts over here. So that's going to be canned cabbage, canned potatoes, it would actually be six belts. Alright, so chips go in here, and then to make meal kit, uh, that one could probably face this way. Actually no, that's fine. More like this. Okay, so blue, yellow, and green. This one is going to be a vegetable pack. Need more belt again. Or 
I could use bouncies, but we're handcrafting the last few bouncies, so I think belt will be better. Alright, belt goes here, belt goes here. And we'll need to supply it with cans. Um, we can do 99 cans dropped off at a time, and it's just over here. So I think I'll just supply those directly. That should be fine. Where did I put the other... Did I use up exactly the right amount of it? No, here it is, cabbage. Alright, soybeans, potatoes, cabbage. And then we get a vegetable pack, and then we add honey to get meal kit. I'll add honey myself. And I'm pretty sure the water stuff is trivial. We just need 15 meal kits, right? Survival pack times 15. Yeah, the 15 meal kits is by far the part that we don't want to do ourselves. Alright, give me all the honey. I said all the honey. Didn't pick up bees, did I? No, we're good. I think I'd have to stun them anyway. It's... One honey per meal kit, which means... 15 honey. That's like nothing. Oh, blood ingots are well backed up. Just make sure they're actually getting where they're supposed to. Yes, fantastic. Oh. So, honey gopro. And what are we missing here? Potatoes? No, uh, it's chips. Because the belt length. You know what? I actually should have used bouncies. Um, because I can put this straight in here, which eliminates most of the different belt lengths, which means prioritization isn't as much a thing. So let's make another one of those. We need quartz ore and grav ingot. I need two or three more, I think. Oh, oh, oh. That's a lot of grab ingots. I might drop some in here. Let's make the bouncies first. What's or Battery low. Uh, springboard times five. That's probably all we'll ever need now. And we'll drop these 45 ingots in here. The 15 survival pack didn't sound that much work at first. Indeed. Multiplication go burr. Um, this goes in here. And then... If we put a bouncy here, it's only like two canned soybeans that'll back up here, as opposed to how much the others will back up. I can look at that. Oh. This goes here. And then... We've got 99 transistors. 
drop in here. Scrap cable is really slow. Maybe we'll have to move that bottleneck as well. Maybe there's like hundreds of scrap cable lying around somewhere I've forgotten about. Maybe I could go harvest things instead. Or a bit of both. What about this old chest? Nope. I think I should probably just put a couple more electronic factories to consume the scrap paste. Oh, this is actually backed up. What do we mean? We're missing scrap metal now. Oh no, please don't tell me it's power problems. Oh no. I think we prioritized too hard. Uh, somehow we have zero purple. I think because we have zero purple, we're getting zero red stuff. That might actually be a problem to get back. Alright, first things first, I'm going to disconnect these lamps. We'll see what that reveals. Once it reconfigures. I wish I could zoom around and look at stuff. Let's grab some cables. That's not a whole lot. I don't think that's worth the effort. But yeah, Navsat would be very helpful right now. That's a problem. That's a very big problem. Alright. I think we're going to have to re-enable purple, like, full speed. Um, so this goes here, and it seems like only half of this was working, usually. Hmm. I don't think we need to produce belt anymore. Yeah, no, that, that's going to be fine. Oh, here's some grav that we're not using. Are we not using it? No, we're not. Okay, we need to get it onto that belt over there. Lazy way. That'll certainly help. Okay, that already has our our other outpost back online. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll be getting blood, blood fuel back in a minute. Anywhere else I can get grab from? Um, kind of, yeah. This is super backed up. It seems really slow. So if I if I turn this to face a different direction, 
and we give this machine an opportunity to take the ore and then we bring it over to the same place that should help as well do I have any more bouncies? I only have one quartz ore and grav ingot Quartz ore and grav ingot. Perfect. And then, where was it? Over here? What, is, what even is this belt? Where are we going? Over here. That'll do. should help a little bit. That's already grav ore, that's going to confuse things. Alright, how's this belt looking now? Not that much better? Really? I don't suppose there's more grav ore this way? I seriously have my doubts. Oh. Okay then. Sure. That easy, huh? That would have been good to know a while ago. <laughs> Alright, cool. That's, uh, that's actually going to be a really big help, I think. We might even see purple saturate. And maybe I could just... Doesn't go there. Now that goes here, actually. Set it up so that grabbing goods can go here, but they're a lower priority than our. Might be good. Yeah, it's actually getting... Oh, it's actually getting to the end of the belt. Oh, that looks good. That looks very good. And if we need more than one belt here, we can very easily do that. should have yes 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 blood fuel coming in perfect um but how much has it slowed this down what are we looking for cabbage has it actually been waiting on me no soybeans this one is soybeans right yeah, it's waiting on dehydration chip. Uh, dehydrated chip. Here it comes. 
ever so slowly. Just confirm that's working. It is a working. We've got four. We're about to be a third of the way there. Well, sort of about to. Let's go get some more vegetables so we don't have to notice that it's stopped based on that. It was slow. I think they're as fast as they probably need to be though. We could obviously make them a bit faster. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, how many do we need of each? If it's four vegetable... So it's just four. Four times fifteen. Sixty. Yeah, it should be only sixty of each, so this right here should be the last time that I need to resupply it. Let's get those cans. And you know what? I'm sure we're never going to need more cans than this. Pretty sure. We need the scrap more in the short term in any case. Alright. Scrap's already backed up, though. Okay, then. Um, so those two electronics facilities... I want to... place over here somewhere. And then we just bounce it over here, and once it, oops, we get a bouncy, no, three quartz or one grabbing it. Or I could make it go around. Not really. That's two quarts on. Oh, purple is... Purple's doing well. Nice. Driver ingots look like they're doing okay. Perhaps. Uh, what was I doing? I need to steal some grab ingots from somewhere. Yoink, yoink. And then I need... Six, seven quartz ore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. There we go. And... bounce. That should speed things up a bit more. Maybe we'll even bottleneck on the set paste, but I doubt it. Alright, so chips go burr, which means we're only bottlenecked on blood cube again. Never enough grav ingots. 
if this is actually backed up. Um, okay. In that case, let's just double check. This should be one to one. Because there's no way I would mess that up, right? Alright, so grab all takes four seconds to make one grav rock. And then grab ingot. Wait, what? No, that looks right. Oh, it requires one grav rock. And this requires three grav rock. Okay. 12 seconds to consume three. Four seconds to make one. Divide by three. Yes, that's right. It's one to one. All right. We're going to do ingots like so until until this belt stops being backed up. And these need to be set to grab all. see how that looks in a minute. May as well add some more over here. It's not like they consume power or anything. Oh, the belt's already getting slack. I think we've I think we've got enough now. Oh, here it is. Cook time two. No, that's how long it takes to craft. Never mind. I'd really like to know exactly how much we get from ore harvesters. What's this? I like how the uh, grav ingot on the belt knows to not move forward while this grav ingot is flying through the air. Um, but yeah, we seem to be... Well, I was going to say making blood cubes at full speed, but that's not even remotely true. This part seems to be starting to back up. We don't want to miss out. on that. This already has a flipper facing this way. Um, I can't really see a good way to take the excess from this belt. Yeah, probably not. It's probably Fine, though. It's going to take such a long time to make enough blood cubes, though. What did I say we needed? 360? It's not like we can see the uptime on this, but it's pretty clearly not making one every two seconds. Two, three, four, five... Let's say it's five seconds between each recipe. So it, instead of two seconds, it's seven seconds. Uh, 360 times seven. 2,520 seconds. We're looking at 42 minutes. That's not that bad, considering we're already, like, halfway through it, I think. We're a third of the way through it. Where else can I bring Grav from? I already checked here, it was Blood Ore, right? Let's go looking for even more Grav Ore. Grav 
we can just feed it onto the same belt, all the better. Oh, lovely. Uh, that is a crab rock patch. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, please. And where we've got tons of space to crank it out. I'm actually going to need more ore harvesters. I don't know if I've got more lying around somewhere. They're not hard to make. In fact, I can just take these grav rocks right here. I can make eight more without any serious trouble. I need like 15. Uh, one. So six more. Two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Let's go get that rock. Now I need more belt. I'm pretty sure the hundreds of belt that we've got left is going to cover the end game. Pretty sure. Where's the rest of it? Get in my factory. Beautiful. Lines up perfectly. I need another lamp. Blood ore and glass. And I think I stopped automating those. There's probably like a million lamps I could just go pick up. It's fine. Actually, since I think we literally just need one... Possibly two. Okay, I just keep finding more grab. Right where I said I didn't think it would be. But I guess it makes sense to put this here for the end game. What else is over here? Even more grav? Holy crap, I wish I'd known about this sooner. Alright, I guess I'm... Oh, belt's packed up. I'm probably going to go back and make a few more lamps. But not before I put down another 200 factories. Am I exaggerating? Gonna have to move this. Actually, it's gonna be easier if I do this first. That doesn't link anymore. That's lucky. Okay, cool. Oh. Um, 
we can get around this one. Actually, why don't we literally get around it? Instead of using the last springboard I've got. And then... That should help. Let's make sure it gets where it's supposed to. Pretty sure it does. Ooh, it's backed up. Um, that's a very good sign. So are we actually bottlenecked on... No, we're not. I think... I think we should move this. And put this in here directly. It's never going to let that in, is it? There we go. Alright, so now it might actually bottleneck on the machine itself. Is it only allowed to let in one resource at a time? What the hell? Yeah, the inputs are backed up. Like, both inputs are backed up right now. And if we click on it, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ingots piling in. I don't think I've seen another factory behaving this way? Well, that's going to add a lot of time. That is... that is really, really slowing us down. Well, considering that the blood ingots aren't backed up all the way up here, it's probably not actually slowing us down. I think we're about to bottleneck on blood ingots, actually. Maybe. Oh, no, we've got a million of them over here. Yeah. Well, that's a little bit frustrating. It's more than... It's like quadrupling the time that this takes. Oh well, I guess we'll... Find somewhere to put some more of these. And completely reshape the belt. I could put one right here. That should be easy enough. Wait. There's a blood cube here all the time. Oh, we're accumulating it. Never mind. Our bottleneck has actually shifted to the thing that consumes the blood cubes? Or something a little bit behind it. It's computer chips. It's wires. It's sap, I think. Okay, let's get some more sap paste. Which... Apart from making another sap tap... I do have two deer handy already. Oh. It's actually backed up, so... This is already going to improve things. At least a little bit. 
Sap tap is tree chomper by blood cube. Good thing we just got backed up on blood cube. Okay. Here I thought I was gonna like finish the game and swap to another game early this stream. Um, but the final stretch is a bit time consuming. Alright, sap tap. It's gonna go here. Bouncy. Uh, we're gonna need grabbing and quartz ore. But a bouncy is gonna go here. And then we'll just belt. I guess I'll go around that honey. I'll just pick it up. Belt over here. Where's our sap tap? We've got just enough room to output it there. I need one grav ingot and five ore. Or was it three ore? It was three. One grav ingot. Hmm. Come to think of it. If I just dump quartz ore in here. There's no way to get it through though. Unless... Springboard can't reach that far, can it? Oh, it is one tile short. So I don't think we can aim it here. That's... Uh, I think we have a way. Okay. Could have done this all along. Oh well. Quartz ore in here. Make another springboard. Oh, this is springboarding. Wait, is it? Where is it going? What is that tile? It's a springboard facing this way, but I don't see it. Oh, it goes over here. This has been backed up forever, though. I could just take it from here and bring it all the way back. Why not? We've got 183,000 million belt to spare. What's that? Glass? We're doing glass elsewhere anyway. And once again... I need more bouncies to make more bouncies. Embrace the spaghetti? Oh, I embraced it long ago. You don't know the power of the spaghetti side. And then one more. What the? Oh my god. Get it out of here. One more springboard. Nope, I lie. Two more springboards. And then we can finally have springboards automated again. Without messing up anything else too much. Alright. If I face this here, does that... Nope, didn't think so. Whatever. Springboards, FDW. And what were we doing? More sap. We can do another sap tap up here as well. Uh, we're 
actually one off that reaching in there. I guess we'll just bounce it across this way. And then sap tap is Sap tap is tree trumper is five blood cube. Hurricks, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Some of these cubes seem to be dropping into the ground and others are not. A little bit strange. I really wish you could set the shortcut from here. Partly because you always know where this is, and partly because you want to set the shortcut right before you finish the handcraft, right? Have you tried the Rene Transportation Modern Factorio? These springboards remind me of it? I have not. Okay, we're going to... Is this the right recipe? Sap. Yeah, it's the right recipe. Yeah, that thing's pointing here, actually. Okay. So if we need to keep pushing the bottleneck, uh, maybe a couple more deer would be the way to go. Let's see how close we are. Ooh, 8 out of 15. Last I checked, we were at 5, so it's definitely accelerated. Are we about to run out of... No, no, I don't think so. Of corrosive petal. Also, I've got a bunch of chips on me. Um, so that can probably go in here. I think we're still bottlenecked on chips. Looks like we're now making the scrap cable quite a bit faster. Might even back up the sap again. I'm pretty sure we need another deer or two to bottleneck on the sap itself. Do I have bombs? I do. Let's see if we can find another deer. I know where I can find a bunch of them, but I don't want to walk that way. Also, I just realized, um, all day today we haven't had one of those giant spiders yell at us. I wonder if too many people had arachnophobia or something. Or if we just somehow progressed to the point where they stopped showing up. What was I looking for? Oh yeah, a deer or two. Oh. Don't think you'll escape. Fantastic. Maybe one more? I don't see any. I don't think I've seen a deer around here before. What the? No. There's like a belt built into this thing. Okay. Presumably that will probably be enough sap. I also noticed I'm carrying like 26 cables. So let's drop them in here. 
Six, actually. Never mind. How much further? Uh, ten. We need four and two, uh, four and a quarter meal kits. I may as well start preparing the water. Uh, three water filters times 15. So 60. I think we've got those already. And exactly the same number of water bottles, which is just filter plus... Uh, one filter plus some water paste. Where did I put the filters? Uh, I remember automating them. How do I make the filters? It's actually electronics. Graphite plus transistor. Yeah, didn't I? Here it is. Oh, that's only 90. Pretty sure we need 120. Glad I checked. Um, it's only one graphite each. Oh, it's really fast. So how many is this? 90, we need 30 more, so we need some more transistors. Uh, which I can steal from here. That should be almost exactly it. Oh. Um, I think I'll drop these metal cans. Shroom seeds, quartz ore, nitrate. That's it. That should be more than we need. Let's go make, I believe it is 60 water bottles. 15 times 3. Wait, what? Oh, that's 45. No, oh, we've got way more than we need. Alternatively, I could throw down a factory. Four seconds each. Alright, that shouldn't take too long. What does this stack to, even? Um, maybe I could put a dispense chest down so we don't take all of the water. Can I just drop this here? Yeah, I think that works. Cool, cool, cool. And we're already up to nine. Fantastic. Ooh, three meal kits to go. Three whole meal kits to go. Cabbage is always the last... No, it's soybean. Soybean is always the last one to get uh, some attention. Seems like computer chip... Yeah, it's still wires. It, it's still scrap wires, which is our bottleneck. We have backed up on sap paste, so maybe... Couple of transistors. Seems like we're having no trouble with transistors. I'll make another couple of electronics factories up here. We'll do the same 
bouncy pad uh, trick. Let me just go and pick up a bouncy pad instead of going to a lot of trouble to craft it. You know what? Just put this here, and then we'll be able to put a dispense chest here like I should have done before. And that'll queue up like 25. Okay. So, electronics factories... Right next to each other over here should be fine. Don't need more lamps. At least not yet. I could put some more up here if I really want to. And that may or may not have shifted our bottleneck. Another 50% on... Computer chips, assuming that we've got the sap to keep up with it. Let's have a look at the sap. We need more deers, if anything, because that belt is well backed up. Actually, if it's hovering around here... then probably another deer would be all we need to get the most out of it. Probably. Oh, there's a deer. I was gonna say by the time... Nope. Oh, I missed. Wrong button. I was going to say by the time we do something about it, it probably won't matter, but here's a deer right here. Cool. I think that'll do, honestly, until we finish the game. doing. 12 meal kits. Oh, we need honey. Oh no, it's my fault now. Uh, have a little bit more honey. And we need like, what's that, 13? We literally need like two more honey, I think. We're literally just waiting on one, two, three, four. Uh, no. It's 12, 13, I think. 13 more, 26 more chips. There's no transistors? Holy crap, we actually ate all the corrosive petals. Do I have more transistors on me? I do. There we go. Not long now. Not long now at all. That actually probably gave scrap wires an opportunity to back up a little bit, so we didn't even lose that much time, if any. Mm 
Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we literally lost no time there. And I believe this is the last one. Once we get three more... Three more of these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten more. Make that nine more dehydrated chips. Gentlemen, it's been emotional. probably save a couple of dehydrator chips if I put these in manually, but it's fine. If I'd done a line with bouncy, no, that wouldn't quite work. Now we're just waiting on literally one can soybean. Oh, never mind. I thought that was it. Canned soybean. Vegetable pack. Meal kit. And that's 15. All right, let's grab that water. And what was it? Survival pack. Three water bottle, three water filter. Oh, it only goes to 25 over here. Um, we need some of those water filters back. Inventory full figures. Drop the nitrate. Fantastic. Nine. Uh, we're out of water paste. No. No. Get in there. Give it all back. All the water paste. So close. How many have we got? Survival pack. We've got nine. We need six more. Which means 18 water bottles. We've got 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. And that should be it. Except that we need filters. Oops. Thirteen. Fourteen. And 15. That's it. Complete mission. Survival pack analysis contamination is at 0%. All packages approved for human use. Initializing power diversion. Charge level 0%. We did it. Employee 3134 was the reason the mission was successful. Are you sad about me doing this? Charge level 
Sadness and loneliness levels are expected to reach an all-time high. However, there is no denying this outcome. Employee 3134 was built to complete this mission. I know. Charge level 40%. But we had fun, didn't we? Analysis determines that fun was indeed achieved. <laughs> when I'm gone, you'll still... Will you still decorate the place? Still forgets I have no arms or legs. Charge level 60%. But you le at least you have a big heart. Did employee 3134 employ the use of a pun in the face of their imminent death? <laughs> What's a pun? Never cease to amaze me. 80%. That's what you have to do if you want to get promoted. Never cease to amaze. And the most amazing part about this journey was I got to live so much longer than I was meant to. Which means more time talking to you. Before you go, I wanted to give you something. A promotion? Actually, yes. You've been promoted to best friend. Charge level 100%. I always knew we were going to be friends. Take care, best friend. Starting power surge. Boost complete. Great job. You are dead. Indeed. El Pancho? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is that? Project human incomplete. Server wipe. Uh-oh. on time to finish the stream too. Dispatch dispatching three one two four. Why did the number go down? That's what friends are for. Congratulations on beating the game. Feel free to continue to work on your base, explore and experiment. As a small indie team, having players like you make it all the way to the end means a lot to us. We hope you enjoyed playing the game as much as we enjoyed making it. Nice. Frame rate's getting a little low though. <laughs> Uh, despite the... well, oh, music stopped abruptly. Despite the inventory and pacing issues, I quite enjoyed it. I mean, obviously. I wouldn't have finished it if I didn't enjoy it. It's cool they're providing food for humans, but how are they going to solve the entire world still being completely dark and trying to kill you? Uh... Baby steps. Alright. Well, that'll be it. That's Atrio. Um, I'll look for someone to raid. Let's see what we've got. I'd be surprised. Okay. Uh, since we're playing a factory game, let's have a look at 
Factorio, perhaps. That's what I'll be playing tomorrow, anyway. JD is playing. It's been a while since I raided JD. In fact, it's been a long while since I saw him... Uh... Since I saw him streaming. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Dardalone. Sloder. Mudinho. And everyone else. Cat Jam. That was indeed a Cat Jam. That had some good music. I heard they removed the rather faster timer that killed you? Uh, like they patched it a bit? Who knows? Alright, well, uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow, for the next three days, we'll be back to Crastorio 2 plus Space Exploration. Wherein, uh, as I said yesterday, because I got confused about which day it was, otherwise I would have done Atrio yesterday, uh, we'll finally be building the Bio 2 that we've uh, mostly finished designing. Um, but for now, stay safe. Your name's Cat, do you? Like a boss.